kill things. So, anyone have a prediction on what week this run will end, or is this going to be the run? My obsession That's the question. This great foulness, and it is shameful that I must rely week 2039. So this is the run. Hey Cam, welcome in. How you doing Cam? It's good to see you. Really good distraction. I, I know. I don't know what you know. You know how that is. It's like you're talking and you're about to say something, and then it's just gone. Over week forty-two, week twenty-five. So no one thinks it's actually the run. <laughs> this week, Delta. Thanks, Delta. Um, so we did get the bank on week ten. Sick. So took him to the vet the other day. Three different meds now. Still one hundred percent. Acting fine, but driving you nuts. Well, at least they're gonna be okay. How old's your cat, Kay? Mod wife, thank you for the 10 bits. That's a sn There's a snake in my boot. Oh, I don't know if the bleed purple thing is still going, but that reminds me. If anyone does give bits while the bleed purple thing is going, if you give bits and you use the bleed purple icon for it, uh, Twitch will just match 10% of it and just give it to the streamer at no extra cost. So if you give 100 bits, a dollar of bits to someone, and you use bleed purple, Twitch will actually give them 110 bits instead, which is kind of cool. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. G pig, how you doing, pig? Darling Pinky. Is that like my dearest Pookie? Pinky! Pinky, thank you for the resub, but two months in a row. Thank you for continuing to use your Twitch Prime here. It financially supports the stream as well. Appreciate it, Pinky. That's only like a year old. New to glasses, how to be within a foot of your monitor to read chat. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Pinky, thank you again uh, for sharing this for the resub and sharing the streak. I appreciate it, Pinky. Love and sandwiches to Pinky. I'll, I'll get those alerts set up. I promise. Thousand zero zero party over. Oops, out of time. All right, Prince, Prince Pineapple. To look up previous screen names, hours, see if there were any that needed to be moved over to this one. Um. Can you whisper me the old screen name? I'll double check Pilot Watch. I think I did that, but if you want to whisper me the old screen name again, I'll make sure. Hmm. So, we're on week 12, huh? Uh, let's go check it. Check it out. Where's back to? If anyone changed their name, by all means, like, whisper me your old name and I can just update the bot. So it, it's all based on the bot itself, not on Twitch. So if you've ever changed your name, just whisper your old name and I'll move all the hours and souls or whatever to the new name. It's Rakes and 122, back when you used numbers. <laughs> uh, have here related to sub giveaways. Haven't been into the stream in nearly a month. My schedule. Just gotta give sub here. Yeah, Lance, we had a bunch of gift subs last night. And uh, so the Twitch algorithm uh, will end up hitting people that have a generous that bestowed. have been uh regulars to the channel before so yeah welcome back lance l hey l thank you for the 100 bits and using the bleed purple how you doing l thank you for the bits this is some all right so the unfortunate thing is the only medium dungeon right now is the worms so that's probably what we'll do uh i would like to get these ones move uh, well i mean we have to open up the wield the wield we've done no percentage so we could do the wield Veteran Siren, it's your bet for the run end. Uh, hopefully not. Let's see if there's any of these that I want to get. Uh, I don't remember what we had in here. Perfectionist, I mean, that kind of sucks, but Flagellant has decent accuracy. A natural hound master, that's great early pickup. A precise striker hellion, that is really good too. Uh, either one's fine, Cam. I check both of them, so whichever one's easier for you, just whisper me the old name. Wait, what was the old name, by the way? But yeah, either one. Whatever's easier for you. Doing good, L. How you doing? I haven't, I haven't been feeling great like the last week, L, but uh, hopefully things are getting better. Cat and dead cam. That's what I figured, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> wasn't sure. But yeah, I'll get him moved over, cam. Um. So, I would like... Oh, wait, I already extended the roster. Uh, just kidding. We don't need to do that. The Q moves. Who's next in the queue? Week 95, final fight in Dark Dungeon 2. Misfortune's evil. Evil. So, uh, to play, turn the time the stream starts and you go to sleep soon. Oh, no worries, Lance. Um, I understand when people can't be here for any reason or 
you know, don't want to be here, whatever the case, I appreciate it when you are here, but, uh, yeah, or if you are leaving a lurk or anything like that, that helps out, but, uh, if you can't do any of those things, no, no hard feelings, Lance. So it was another there cam. Was you never know. We have, like, three pineapples, and one of them is more regular than the others. He, uh, gets plenty of grain. So. BK. Welcome to the BK Lounge. What boss? I'm not really... Well... There are two... Two and a half bosses that are, uh... That are the most RNG, I would say. Uh, and so, since we are on Torchless Blood Moon, the RNG is even higher on those ones. So, the Flesh, Champion Flesh, Champion Prophet, and Champion Croc are probably the three things that can be most RNG death for a boss. But I'm not really worried about bosses so much. He will join us or die, Pliable. Master. Failboat. Failboat, thank you for gifting Alan Q. Chang subscription to the stream. Thank you, Fellboat. How you doing tonight, Fellboat? Love it, sandwiches to Fellboat. Um, oh, I was saying that uh, Cam was saying, imagine if it was another Cam, and I was like, could could have been. We have like three pineapples, only one of them is much more regular because he has plenty of fiber. Hey, Beerbarian, welcome back. How you doing, Beer? Dark Moon, how you doing, Dark? So many people. Thank you guys for being here. Yeah, I mean, there's two strategies for the the prophet. You can either guard, which is what I do, uh, so I guard with high protection, or you can um, lower his damage. What are the either of those two make it pretty safe? So I'm not the the flesh is probably the most RNG boss fight that can screw us over. Honestly, flesh is a really uh, really big one. All right, uh, I would like to level up BK. This is just a short dungeon, so we should be okay. Uh, I don't really want to take Zoophobia. Eh. Um, what's Irish got going on? The worries. Seeker has some stress. Man, we might have to take Jorizi. I hate taking all these level zeros because level zeros start out with 25 stress. So the fiber part. Wait, what? I think I, I did. No light. Anyway, do you shy away from the shambler any more than usual? Uh, yeah. So we're gonna get a lot of shamblers. I usually don't summon a shambler unless we are uh, overpowered for that level shambler. So like, if I have a full team of level twos, it's a good shambler killing team, and we have good trinkets, and I'm in an apprentice dungeon, and there's a shambler altar, and the quest is done, and we don't have the shambler's map yet. You know, I'll take that fight. But other than that, um. I don't worry about Hall Battles too much in Apprentice because it's only a 1% chance, but um, he will join us or die. once we get into Veteran, I start to avoid Hall Battles more, and in Champion, I really try to avoid Hall Battles. Failboat, thank you for another gift sub. Failboat to House of Random. Thank you, Failboat. Love and sandwiches to Failboat again. Double Man at Arms. It's really safe. Um, you can... The only problem is getting there, you might get a lot of stress. Uh, but if you run, like, Hellion Double Man at Arms or something, like, he's not going to be able to do anything. Saw it less than seven times. Yeah, it's random. I mean, I've seen it three times in one dungeon before, and then I've also went runs where we never see a... Just running through the queue, pretty much. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to take a level one in order to kind of help carry these guys a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to take 17... All right, I think this is our team for now. Use the flagellant. Yeah, I use them a little bit early game to get in this run, but not not usually much afterwards. How you doing, Jeep? I still think the flagellant is an okay character. He's just not overpowered like he used to be. It's okay. What are we on? We're on week 11, I believe. Big week 11. All right. Hey, everybody, my name is Cletus. Anybody want some cornbread? <laughs> Cletus has been summoned. Uh, he now goes into cryogenic sleep for 10 minutes. 
That's the higher death blow check. Ha <laughs> death blow resistance. Character, there's only one real answer, and that's position two battle vestal. Nay, invincible. A character that can not only heal itself from position two, but can, can heal the whole team. They can stun, they can deal damage. What a great, great character, right, Jeep? You already know. <laughs> uh, no stress to get rid of. Uh, get rid of tetanus or wasting sickness. I think I'm gonna get rid of the worries this week. For waiting to get you personal voice clips. So here's how um, I'll explain it again, Gar, really quick. Keeps like my wife is in the room with me. <laughs> so basically, back in January, uh, stuff, stuff, and stuff had the idea to contact Wayne June and get some people involved and see if we could get cu he could get custom lines for the channel for my birthday without me knowing. So stuff uh, and 21 other members of the community got together in January and throughout from January to my birthday, kept it a secret somehow. Contacted Wayne June, uh, gave him money. Had him go to a studio and record um, some custom lines for the channel and for me. And then they uh, they gave them to me on my birthday uh, last week, April 23rd. Such a momentous occasion. Happy birthday. <laughs> Super Not Failboat. Thank you for the the birthday money. Is the 423. Thank you, Super Not Failboat. This is a little late. Take some dollars. My dollars now. Failboat, thank you. Appreciate it, Failboat. Um, how is your, I mean, I don't know what to call them. How's your almost brother doing, by the way? It's been a while since I asked. Uh, Hagiomania would be good to get rid of. Thantophobia. Perfectionist. Perfectionist. All right. Oh, they're back to normal. But your mom had a mini stroke. Jesus. Well, this is a roller coaster. I'm sorry, Felbo. I can't believe they're completely back to normal, though. That is awesome. She's doing okay, though. All right, we're finally ready for uh, our first dungeon back into this run. Cheers, whack. I agree. Uh, all right, so we're going to do double healing trinkets. Not Junia's head, though, on our Vestal. Our Hound Master, we did get the Scouting Whistle, which is amazing. Um, I'm not sure what else I'm going to put on him just yet. On our Hellion... Guys, we don't have any accuracy trinkets, which is scary going in here. Because we can get rabies very easily. Um, I suppose I'm just going to give her a bunch of damage. And we'll give the Hound Master minus stress. So the Hound Master has our lowest health. Um, stress casters are more likely to hit the most stressed target. So since he has the lowest health, I'd like to put the book of sanity. So maybe he won't be targeted by stress casters as much. And maybe those little bitty chips off his HP won't happen. I suppose I'll throw this protection on the flagellant, which is not ideal, but I know that's what I was thinking too. Like, What do, what do we get? Like, this, the speed doesn't matter too much. <clears throat> There's not a lot of really fast enemies in here. That uh, 8 speed is going to always go above them. So, I mean, how much health do we gain? So, we're, we're leaving out 5 health. Scouting is just so good. It is a short dungeon, though. So, I don't know. Since it's a short dungeon, there can't be a... Um, there can't be a secret room. So, scouting isn't as important. It's still really important. Um... Right at early levels for the the gods at height. Yeah, that's true. Uh, How Master has the lowest damage range at level zero for sure. One point bleeds and stuff. Hey, fiddles, welcome back. A month left till you take your first two week vacation forever. I'm not going anywhere. I can't remember the last time I took a vacation. I know it sucks, R squared. I don't know. I might actually. Uh, Go with the natural route for now. I changed my mind. I'm going to go with scouting. Scouting is just too good. Alright. Let's do this. First dungeon of the night. All the food. Two shovels. There are a lot of curios in here that use like different random crap. So we're going to take two of like everything. 
Granted, on these type of runs, no, I don't. Uh, we don't need the extra money because we get the bank on week 10, plus you get extra gold from the zero lights. Uh, Antiquarian is good for dodge comps, but it's hard to get a lot of dodge with zero light, especially early on. Uh, so in these kind of challenges, uh, Ozolito, I, I tend to min-max things, and so I don't use the Antiquarian very much. Hey, Raider, welcome back. How you doing, Raider? Getting some use in on those gifted emotes. Thank you, Raider. Right. So because these are level 0, they started with 25 stress. Oh, critical scout right off the bat. Perfect. So this allows us to uh, disarm that trap instead of like barreling over the top of it. The other great thing about the scout is we cannot get surprised. A crappy map. Anyway, we can't get surprised on those two battles unless they're a shambler. Play in the dungeon. No, I've never used that. Uh, for me, it's a little bit different anyway. Like, I would not uh, take the recommended food. I always take more because I, knowing how hunger works, I can budget out food for healing. And we have the extra money to take extra food anyway. Um, so no, I don't usually use it. Uh, spider web is bandages. Thanks, Raider. Uh, yeah, I know. What does do? Uh, steady Bracer, 10 Accuracy, Range Skills. Uh, we'll probably end up selling it. I don't know, it's okay. Like, if he gets Rabies, we could probably just throw that on him instead of, um, Book of Sanity. And put the Book of Sanity somewhere else. So it's an okay pickup, even for this. So, Maggots can give any disease in the game other than, other than Sky Taint. Uh, we want to kill them first. They also give Disease and Stun. Spitters aren't very deadly on their own, either. Like, it's just... They can crit, obviously, like any thing can, but there's nothing to mark for them, so. Try to stun. So she does have uh, Sacred Scroll, which look. Hey, look, it's a crit! First attack on us of the week, crit. Anyway, what I was going to say is that she does have Sacred Scroll, which lowers her chance to, uh, to stun by 10%. Another one falls. Because a crit, this is on there for five rounds, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. Alrighty, Phoenix. If only treasure. Percent bleed resist, minus two dodge, bleed charm. Bleed charm is a very common because it has rust around the edge, so it only sells for 750. Doesn't stack. Might end up throwing it down. Came straight up, no challenges. Oh, no worries, Raider Tube. I mean, I didn't start out doing crazy challenges like this. Uh, I played through blindly on uh, Darkest Difficulty first, and then on Blood Moon, and then I transitioned to Torchless stuff. And, uh, I mean, I played, I've streamed it for almost 1900 hours now. Okay, we're gonna try to stun one of the stress casters. It's not good. Okay, we're going to use a dog treat here for extra accuracy and uh, damage. Finding, trying to find a new game pick up next month. You would exist. Um, hmm. Are you looking for a specific kind of genre or anything? I, As much as I want to hit this one, it's probably smarter to just kill here. It's just going to waste the Hellion's damage next round though, but... Go blind and darcy too. Super excited. I'll probably start on the hardest difficulty. Really excited about Dark Sigil 2. Sky Team for the same reason that little boys like the word shuttlecock. It sounds dirty but isn't. You got me. <laughs> A devastating blow. Just keep in an open mind on possibilities. I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it. Um, back in the good old days, Punish could hit position 3. But this is not the good old days anymore. We never know we're living in the good old days until they're already gone. Sad state of life, that. Enough of that, though. <laughs> I don't know. I'll think about it, though. Um, if you think about a genre, let me know, Hytella. You're looking for something with replayability or, like, a story game to play through? Dodge again. 
dodged even with the 15 accuracy from the dog treat. Man. It's bad, bad dodge. Now there is a recovery fight in here. If we run into the dual scratcher, we can recover on that fight a little bit. Uh, with our current team, we can't get too much recovery in. But I mean... Ugh, resisted with a 20% resist. I think I'm just going to heal here. And then 30 Open Dandy Kind, Story, Open World, Sports, whatever, really. Okay. I kind of want to get a Stress Heal in, so I'm just going to kill here. As the fiend falls, Blood Target Attack gives Stress Heals if you only crit a corpse. Yeah, it's kind of weird how that works. If you crit a corpse, it doesn't give you Stress Heal, but if it's an AoE and the corpse is part of that, it seems like it's in that same detection as the whole thing. So if any part of your AoE crits a living thing, you get Stress Relief, yeah. Man, another 20% bleed resist. I'm addicted to Thanksgiving leftovers. It's just so hard to quit cold turkey. <laughs> hey, Himmel, how's it going? Ugh, I'm gonna stall this one more time, maybe. Ah, no, I'm not. Do things and stuff. Have a good night. Don't die. Try my best, Gar. Have a good night. So the tent is um, one of the curios in the game that has the highest chance of just dropping loot uh, with no negative. Can also get a a map. Apparently our, our map didn't discover anything we didn't already know about. But uh, um, I don't know. Have you played Gungeon? If you like roguelike. Um, bullet hell type games. Enter the Gungeon is very good and it just got its last major update. It's a lot of content in the game, especially if you're entering brand new Hightower. Um, but it's it's definitely a high energy type game. It's not super like chill. Um, I don't know. What game is that? Uh, grunt work. We can stall a little bit here, maybe. Oh, the, the dodge. Rogue Legacy is a really fun game, yeah. Let's go ahead and use our dog treat for end up throwing it down. Rogue Legacy is really funny too. It's a good game, and even if you're not great at it, you can grind out levels to make it easier. Um, but it's a really, it's a really funny game. Gungeon is great, yeah. How you doing, Digital? Never hidden. <laughs> We're just getting crit like crazy. I mean, it's Torchless Blood Moon. Of course, it's gonna happen. Crit to the Necro Dancer. Yeah, another another good game if you like rhythm type games in general. And uh... wow, we didn't get crit for once. It's a Christmas miracle. It's all man. It's also a high energy game. I'm actually gonna stress heal the whole fight on our Helm Master. Uh... Be gone, fiend. We the revolution. It's game based on a decision made just after the French Revolution. Try to rise to the top, and not end up on the guillotine. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks, Wade. Oh, that's a good game too. Uh, the one that Phoenix linked. That's good. My wife and I played through a, quite a bit of it. Oh, I don't know. Like back when it was a newer game. Um, it's actually really fun. The puzzles are good. Like, the puzzles, you have to think about them, but they're not like, oh, you just have to screw around to get lucky and or whatever. Um, that's a good one, too. Shadow attack it, Tactics. Oh, um, if you don't know him already, we, we host him. He hosts us sometimes. Northern Quarter actually just streamed through that whole game, Hytala. So you could actually ask Northern Quarter if you see him on. Um... But I, I've been wanting to play that, too. I actually have it on Steam. But, uh, yeah, Northern Quarter just played through Shadow Tactics. Blade of the Shogun. Hey, Orchestra. First uh, Dungeon of the Night, or of the Week. How you doing, Orchestra? This one's not going great. We've gotten crit a lot. I'm trying to stall on these slimes a little bit. Let's get some stress relief. More 
brutality clarified in a single strike. I'm gonna have to shut the window. Who's playing with their dogs out in their yard at 9.30 at night? Uh, selfish is not good. The audio cutting out randomly? Shouldn't, shouldn't be. I'm not seeing anything. Not me. Or who let the dogs out question? Yes. Uh, what's wrong with doing that? Cause it's like it, well, I mean, I guess it's not yet. They have, they have 35 minutes. I'm calling the police though. <laughs> Hold on now, my dog is barking right now. It's over? That's weird, Delta. I don't know. Alright. Chase each other in the backyard at like 2 a.m. <laughs> this is a really bad dungeon. I just need to start powering through. Usually we can stall against these, but it's just we're just not getting very good luck right now. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Zombie games. 23 of them. A trifling victory. But Quite a affliction. Victory no, I think what you mean is one affliction, three virtues. No jester. Uh, it's only week 11, and I don't use the jester a ton in these challenges. Um, unless we have something to offset their low health and tendency to die ghostly. Alright, so we can use a holy water on this for a positive quirk. Uh, I'm going to use it with the vestal in hopes that we... Get super lucky. Eldritch Hater's good. I was I was really wanting a Hippocratic, but can't choose your classes this early. Just have it. I think we've had like one or two jesters come through. Neither of them had tough or hard skinned or anything, and we still don't have. Uh... Don't you guys? You guys are predicting through emotes what's going to happen. <laughs> Well, I mean, position two will afflict if we get it, but uh, it's only when we know. A fortune waiting to be spent. No one percent shambler, please. We got a ton of food. We can only get one more hunger proc in this dungeon. Hey, fungal scratcher team. Usually, usually you can stall against these fairly well as long as no one gets marked. Um, but with the amount of stress that we have, we probably won't get to. That was so scary. Definitely is with level zeros with high stress. For sure. Early game. Hey, you PJ. Uh, so our how master can stress heal the rest of this. Unforgiving. He's probably not gonna get a lot off though. I mean, he's only, he's level zero, and uh, it's not a guarantee that he even is gonna get the stress heal on everyone or anyone. Man, they've gotten so many 20% bleed resists. Kind of crazy. What a new dog, level zero. It's just a puppy. Six stress there, that's good. Uh, well, one more point and uh, they will be rapturous. One point away. So for anyone that doesn't know, Flagellant cannot avert you. He always gets Rapturous, which is it's obviously a negative, right? It's an affliction. It does have good parts to it, such as extra damage. But it makes him act afflicted, of course. Here it comes. So it'll be, yeah. That's right, we're just trying. Uh, these early game dungeons on Torchless Blood Moon. What a good fun they are. We just have to we just have to kill. There's no way we can stall down to uh to afflictions with this team. Larkin. Oh there's the Larkin. No no no, that's selfish. Sorry. Orchestra stole abusive. And so did a raider. Or is it merely a trick of the light? No more antivenom. Or I mean uh we have an antivenom right there. Uh, ignore that. For some reason I thought I used the last antivenom. It's 
downwards. This is fine. Let's go. Two more battles. Okay, now we don't have any ant antivenom. Uh, there's a chance of still getting loot. So your laptop after 2005 started working? Or what literally melted your leg? This thing seems to work. That's pretty awesome. Um, we know we don't need the shovels. We know we don't need the herbs. And we don't need the keys. Okay, done. Stump could be used for open wounds. <laughs> That's a good point. We can eat all the way down to four food. So we can only get one more hunger proc in this dungeon. There's only one tile we could possibly get it on. Hey, it's the little bone boys. How you doing, Kitan? Welcome in. Kitan. Hey, rabies. It's good. It's good rabies. Things and stumps. <laughs> oh, God. He will join True. us or die, Master. Hey, Orchestra, thank you for gifting Larkin a subscription to the stream. Larkin, you get back in the sub club. You be abusive and you like it. <laughs> Orchestra, thank you for the gift sub. I appreciate it. How massive they got the rabies? Uh, yes. Hopefully the dog or else the how master. Well, if it was real life, he would die. Final battle. Should be fine. I mean, you know, it can be quad spider and go really badly or something. But aside from that, we should be all right. Uh, so these two mark, and then the fungal scratcher does big damage to mark targets. I don't think we're, we'll be able to kill both of these. They're slow, though, so I'm going to try. We also do have some pretty good bleeds. Precision and power. It would have twice as many diseases. <laughs> I'm fortunate you're being all kinds of evil tonight. I don't want I don't want any of these things. Ugh. Ugh. Here it comes. It's the big one, Elizabeth. Arts, you think? Hmm. We never really noticed it. Impressive. If it does, it doesn't seem to hit as hard as the Scratcher. I don't know. Actually, it's pretty crap. Yeah, it is. Level zeros, no trinkets, plus rabies. Like, uh, let's go ahead and guard the March target. Ugh. Enjoy, honey. Bring the big dummy with me. <laughs> that cuts on its own. Ooh, 14 crit heal. Very good time in there. This one's dead next round. Here comes our first virtue. Masochistic. Great virtue. Uh, it's a virtue that allows the character to kill themselves when they don't want to uh, live on this planet anymore. What's the bounty tonight? It's Final Fantasy XIV. Which I'm kind of interested in trying out. It's big damage. Good thing it didn't crit. Could still get... Yeah, maybe. On the bright side. It was the original guess, yeah. We used our highest accuracy move. It missed. All we needed was one point of damage. Great first dungeon of the night. Slowly, gently. Bought a new shirt and tie. You feel dapper? Are they the exact same pattern like the last time? <laughs> Still remember that picture. I think I remember Kaz commenting on it and being like, uh, <laughs> I don't mean it in a bad way. It's just funny. Here comes that virtue. See most of the people on stream you don't use. I use the Crusader. The Crusader is uh, a good jack of all. He's whoever said three afflictions, one virtue. You have one and all expense paid trip to Disneyland. Congratulations. 
Post it to Discord? Yeah, I know. Oh, you mean the new one? Um, anyway, I think the Crusader is slightly better than Jack of All Trades. I do use the Crusader. In fact, he's going to be an integral part of this uh, World First Challenge. I need him. But I think too many people put him in the front. So the best, the way I like to use the Crusader the most is I put him in position three or four. I use Holy Lance to help kill the back line. And then as soon as the Stress Casters or whatever the uh, deadliest thing is, is gone. And then switch him into Stun or Heal or Stress Heal bot. Fresh creatures can be felt. They can be beaten. Did not close brawler on all difficulties or gold gone. Fifty percent extra damage. Thank you, Larkin. So no extra crit, just extra damage. Do you know what the percentage is on the scratchers? Like, is it um, the scratchers gonna more than that? Opposition when it was predicted. Count me out, nailed it. But one that must be fought. Uh, enjoy your all-expense paid trip to Disneyland. Uh, the the expenses are paid by you, of course. Well, you know how it is, though. Count me out. Haven't been there in a long time. 9,300 gold and a buttload of trinkets to sell. In the name of God. Yeah, I'm alright. I just put them in three or four, and I do I do play it. Ruminator, minus 10% stress, healed. It's not great, obviously. Gifted... Ruins Tactician. Overall, we didn't get a lot of bad rolls. California Adventure is better because they serve beer and they have a roller coaster. Chug three or four and then go on a haunted mansion. <laughs> Buttload of trinkets. How many trinkets? Depends on the butt, I suppose. Team for the final boss is Crusader Houndmaster. Alright. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> a man at arms. Might take him. Unholy hater. Let's go see what's uh what's up out in the dungeons. I like bloody herbs. That's all that matters, Pilot Wash, yeah. Rough first dur dungeon, but we're alive. Uh, it didn't... Okay, it's weird. We still need to push meter on medium dungeons. So unless there's a good trinket, we're just going to push meter. Okay. So we'll probably take like low lack... Hmm. I don't know. Could take Yokas. Yeah, that'd be okay. It's not super great, but chats conveyor belt of death. That is true. <laughs> Don't scratch or use a completely different attack for marks. Yeah, right, right, right. Written the mark. Uh, no blind chance. 10% accuracy and 50% damage. Okay. So it sounds like about the same, only the scratcher, if he uses the move that does more against the mark target, he, he's also going to have extra accuracy. Higher damage move and extra accuracy. The cold is because his base damage is higher. They'll always focus target. Gotcha. I mean, hmm. Not a great situation. Suppose we'll take. Oh man, Fear of Unholy, huh? Luminous Beast Slayer. I mean, we could go to the Warrens. I hate doing the collection quest because you lose inventory space as you go. But I don't really want to do a short dungeon. Fear of Unholy. I mean, I guess it's not super bad because she's going to have the Sacred Scroll, which is minus 10%. Stress anyway. Hmm. Pop on the resolve death blow checks another twelve minutes or so. I mean I suppose I could take Fluffkins. Let's see. Fluffkins will be the only level zero, so it might be fine. They'll get twenty-five stress. We also have camping in this one. 
where you didn't have it in the previous dungeon. Um, I think that'll be okay overall. This is a much more... This team is much more capable of recovery in general. It's not an optimal team, but we don't have a lot of great teams yet, just based on the stagecoach that's come in. God, so many people dying. Larkin's dead. Larkin's dead. Okay, for stress relief, I definitely want to keep 17. So, 17 and Jerezy are the most important here. Uh. I mean, I could stress heal Hoopa too, I suppose. I hate to spend all this gold this early, but... Any diseases this week we want to get rid of? I think tetanus, probably. Or even rabies. Wasting sickness is pretty annoying, too. I'm going to get rid of rabies. We just don't have anything to overcome rabies right now. We don't have a trinket. Alright, any bad negative quirks for this week on our level 2s or lower? Hagiomedia is pretty annoying. Antiphobia. Soft. Hiromania. Flagellants. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and get rid of Hagiomania. Hey everybody, my name is Cletus. Anybody want some cornbread? There was only one more Cletus needed? <laughs> Thanks, Kite. <laughs> okay. I want to sell trinkets where we go as well. Uh, oh, and look at camping skills. Good there. We're also going to do the camp, or the scouting. So that's four, and then eight. Uh, let's go ahead and take Hound's Watch. Triggered randomly? No. it's uh, There's a ten minute cooldown, and it takes five people to do the commands. So the fifth one, after the cooldown... Will cause it to play. I also want to pro ban, like a spam bot. Unban them too. There's no rise command. It's just something that they say. But probably Larkin, I would guess. But there is not. There's not one. They they just click and un unban, untime out the person or type to do so. But I guess so. If there was a command that way. All right, healing trinkets again. Scouting. Stun. Damage. Speed. No, uh, I don't know. Let's go book of sanity. Let's go speed here. Okay, and then we're gonna sell anything we're not gonna be using uh, because we have the bank. And. Might keep that for the Jester, actually. So we have the bank. We get 5% uh, interest on any gold we leave behind. So we want to leave behind as much gold every week as we can, within reason. Okay, these three we might still use. That's more dramatic to say. Rise, yeah. Makes them feel powerful. I'm about to unban the target. The nice message. Maybe. I don't know. I'll have to look at it. Alright. Medium ruin. So all the food. Uh, stack shovels. Three herbs. Three holy waters. Three keys. Should be fine. I don't know if I'm going to take... And I guess I'll take some just in case we have a bad first battle or something. So food. Shovels. Cure interaction. Got trinkets. Skills. Alright, let's do it. Create a monster and give it to Rimworld to your brother for his birthday last year. It's apparently the best present we ever bought him. Only game for a year. 
more than him, and yet he has more hours in the game than you. And you have 1150. RimWorld's an awesome game. <laughs> I'll, I mean, he could have been out like uh, Robin Banks and, you know, killing people. So you've basically saved who knows how many lives, uh, Pilot Wash. So, uh, yeah, it's good. It's a great thing. The fiends must be driven back. <laughs> right. And what better place to begin than the uh, of our noble line. Don't like this layout too much, but, uh, can't do anything about it. In truth, it's privates from the, around the man, others under the table. Quote 903, could you imagine a supervillain, that exact power, they're teleporting around, you're, you're naked, putting, oh god, that conversation, put different body parts in their mouth and teleporting to rip them off, oh, that can, I forgot about that. A generous bestowal. Strike Commander, here's your allowance for the week. Don't spend it all in one place. Strike Commander, thank you for the 100 bits and for using the bleed purple. Appreciate it, Commander. Strike. Strike Commander. I don't know why I do that still. For anyone that uh, gives bits, uh, this channel or otherwise, for the next little while, until they get to a certain number, if you use the bleed purple, uh, it will give an additional... 10%. No extra cost to you. Hey, Talos, how's it going? Okay. So, spiders are one of the deadliest mobs in the game. Deadliest groups. Four spiders, anyway. Um, but, as long as you can make it so that you kill the spitters before anyone's marked, uh, you're, you're usually just fine. So, looks like we'll be, we'll be fine. Bleeding purple gives extra bits, yeah. Okay, she resisted, which is good. Another abomination. So, we're fine. Should be no problem. And there's not a lot of stall fights. There's not... I would say there's not really a stall fight in the ruins. Like, yeah, if there's like a couple of little bone boys left or whatever, you know, you can squeeze in a stress heal. Uh, we could probably get in one stress heal here. But... We'll probably camp soon, get her... Gets her stressed down and then. Love your doggos, they're the best chihuahuas ever. Squeezing the bone boys. Alright, we're gonna go over here first. Little bone boys. Are you fond of the bone boys? Packs laden with loot are often low on hey Rebel Rod, welcome in. How you doing Rebel Rod? Okay, no hunger proc. See, there's a battle in here. Ooh, a critical scout. Good, good. Uh, the bone boys. Is that trademarked? So. Why don't I open the chest? Because I'm going to go back through that room, Raider. Uh, and there's no reason to open it now because we have almost a full inventory. So why not open it on my way back when we will have used up maybe more of the food? We'll have camped by then. Um... So, we have to come back through this room anyway, so I'm going to leave it there until we come back through. I don't know it's critical, because it scouted two hallways and two rooms ahead. Critical scout scouts two hallways, two rooms ahead. Critical uh, if scout is what you need to do to find a secret room. Medium dungeons have a 50% chance of having a secret room in them. Uh, to find the secret room, you have to get a critical scout through the hallway where the secret room is. Uh, your chance of getting a critical scout is... 50% or half of your total scouting chance once you've already gotten a, a scout. So basically what that means is every time you get a scout, there is a 50% chance it'll turn into a critical scout or half of your scouting chance, whichever one's higher. Uh, but we didn't find the secret room. Quotes 900 through 903. Of like super blurry naked kid guys, and I was like, hmm. That means, don't know what I was expecting. That's, Ginger tricked me. Ginger was saying that she was she was doing some artwork, and she said what type of artwork it was, and I had never heard of it, and she's like, oh, here's the link to it, and I opened it, and there it was. Spinner, if I'm in, harvest damage, or some marked. For a nice crit, a stunned vessel in a row. Oh, God, I know. I didn't know the exact numbers, but it's crazy. Give them no quarter. Pretty good. 
just been doing this afternoon. Doing okay. Does that make sense, Raider? Why I didn't open it? I'm puzzled. Does that make sense about sense about the critical scout? Mr. Peanut, yeah. I'd like to get one more stress heal in. I don't know that we're gonna be able to though. Oh good dodge. No, we can't. Back to the pit. Good recovery overall though. Um I might go ahead and open this actually. I think I will. Back to the pit. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. So we'll probably camp in this room. Open up inventory space. No offense to anyone who's not a normal human being. <laughs> uh, so the Bone Arbalist are not stress casters, but they crit so much, they feel like stress casters. So, we're going to try to kill them first, hopefully. Hopefully we can do so. Might even use a dog treat here if we end up having to throw it down. <sighs> One health remaining. So we'll scout, like, almost immediately thought Scout Hall was scouted. Uh, oh, the, the reason I knew it was going to be a critical mic was because before it was scouted. So here's how I knew that one. So when you go to this room, we had already been through this hallway, but then it started showing this hallway being scouted. And there's no way you can rescout a hallway that you've already been through unless it's a critical scout over that hallway. So I knew it was going to be a critical as soon as I saw that starting to move. Progression system in this game, after doing a dungeon, what are your options to get stronger so you can progress through more difficult dungeons? It's a good question. So there's a couple things that allow for that. Uh, I dato, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, let me know. But basically, uh, every dungeon that you complete, you get experience based on the length of the dungeon and the difficulty of the dungeon. Those are the two things that matter uh, for experience. Your characters will level up. As they level up, they will gain access to new levels of armor new levels of weapons. Those increase their primary stats like base damage, crit damage, um, health, things like that, accuracy. Now, in addition to that, you can upgrade their skills. If you see, she's a level zero, so she has base level stuff. Uh, this is level two, so as the skill increases in level, it becomes stronger as well. The third thing that helps your team get stronger that, that you progress through is gaining better and stronger trinkets. Each character has two trinket slots and those, um, they, they can't double up on the same trinkets. You can have two trinkets on there. There are some class specific trinkets. So trinkets that can only be used by certain classes. Um, but those are the three primary ways your characters get stronger. As they level up, they gain access to stronger weaponry, stronger armor, uh, additional uh, skill levels and as you find better trinkets. Trinkets aren't level restricted. It's just that the further you go into the game, the more likely you are to find more trinkets. Hey look, it's a death store. It's a good thing I killed that guy. Yeah, no problem. We're all right. It sucks that we got a death door. So he's going to have minus accuracy, minus damage, minus speed, extra stress. This entire dungeon. But, uh, will be okay. Do you like death door? Absolutely not. So since we stunned him and he's already taken his action, I'm going to stall for one round and heal some more. Like, he can't hurt us next round. We should be able to kill him really easily. So why not take advantage Take advantage of him while he can't do anything to us. They can buy merchandise in the hamlet for bargain prices during certain runs at various establishments. <laughs> exactly. It goes without saying. Their formation is broken. Good recovery overall. Maintain the offensive. Um, so we're going to camp here. You can camp with a battle loot window open, as long as it's a battle loot and not a, uh, a curio loot, you're in a room and it's not the final battle of the dungeon. I don't know why you can do that, but you can. So we're going to do so here. 
Yeah, what a great quote. <laughs> I'm just thinking of some things that can pair with, also. I mean, we have quotes about nuts and wood and... Taking advantage of some guy now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the dog treat. Okay. So we're gonna do 10% crit on our Hellion. Uh, we're definitely gonna increase our scouting. So again, we want to get more of those critical scouts, not only because we're trying to find a secret room, if there is one, there's a 50% chance of there being one in this dungeon, but if we uh, scout traps, you know, we can actually disarm them instead of just running over the top of them. <clears throat> if we scout a battle, we can't be uh, surprised by the mobs, unless it's a shambler. Should I just take this guy from behind? Oh god. <clears throat> Bad bot. Stupid bot. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength. So again, I'm not gonna open this yet. Uh, because we're gonna have to come back through this room, and we might have more inventory space by then. I might have used the bandages and the antivenom and the holy water. So we're we're just gonna come back here. Challenge me to a competition of laying pipe. Whenever time. I like dancing competitions. These guys lost their V-card. See traps besides scouting? No, there isn't. Uh, the only other way, I guess you could say, is if you are going through a hallway that you've already been through and it spawns an extra trap, you'll see it. But if there's an unscouted hallway or a hallway that you have not been through, um, no, there's no way to see a, tra a trap. We surprise them, which is really good. Uh, two stress casters... Hmm. I might actually try to just kill here. The ground quakes. Good crit. Hmm. It's a lot of webs pages <laughs> for that. Five to eight. Um yeah. Forget your quotes. They've changed as well numbers good crit so this one is doesn't always cast a stress uh stress move eldritch pull and eldritch push don't do any stress in apprentice unless they crit so there's a chance she doesn't stress heal where the other one was going to stress or stress cast regardless we had a chance we had a chance Place you can go to read the quotes. So, I mean, Chitin. Phoenix has been working on that for a long time. Very diligently. Even off stream in her own spare time. Are you are you complaining that Phoenix took too long to edit the quotes? <laughs> We've been working on it, Chitin. Uh she's dead. Ready to go, I know. I, s I thanked you earlier that you had updated the most recent. I'm just trying to mess with Chitin. Quotes morning after. Yeah, thank you, Phoenix. I've definitely noticed. But, uh... I was intending to do that over the weekend, and I just didn't feel well. <laughs> Phoenix... It's alright, you can just ban him, it's okay. He's used to it. Oh, I should have hit her. Whoops. Guess it doesn't matter too much, but. Yeah. That's fine. She's gonna blight out anyway. Slowly. And we ended up getting an extra stress heal in that way. So it probably worked out better. Alright, uh, there's no curio in here that uses antivenom, so I'm going to go ahead and toss those. Uh, protection stone, it sells for 750 gold and it doesn't stack. Now, bandages we're not going to be using on a curio. I'll go ahead and toss. It's fine. Ugh, another chest, can't, can't wait on this one. A handsome reward. For a task well performed. 
Yeah, there were duplicate quotes. There were some quotes that were so close, even though they were said at different times and maybe a word differently. They were basically the same quotes and lots of typos and things. So Phoenix has been working a lot on. Thank you, Phoenix, again. Hmm. Throw down the protection stone that we just got. Like I said, it's only 750 gold, it doesn't stack, so. Double stress caster again. So we can stun one of them. 25% uh, resist. Feels much higher. Well, it's stunned it, at least. Man. There's an Eldritch Altar. We can get rid of a negative quirk with that, but right now our problem is that we have 70 stress on our healer. We don't have a great stress healer right now. Oh god, man. A powerful blow. There's a quote, 444. The done four vessels. Yeah, I don't know. I'll update the site though, no worries. I'm uh I've just not been uh not been able to the last few days to work on things really. Uh three to six. There's a chance we kill here. We did it. Oh a crit heal in the back. Now she's suddenly down to eighty six. It's good. Our how master can stress heal the rest of this fight. They don't have arms and legs, so they can fuel the furnace. Keep the rest of us warm. Sorry for any of you that are amputees. Uh, that was not directed to you now, but... If you were slowing us down in the apocalypse, then... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Frostpunk? It is, yeah. It is. Um... I kind of want to stall out a little bit, so I think I'm going to hit this one once. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I was. This time out of Frostpunk. So I can stall out this round a little bit. As long as he doesn't do the C word, don't do the C word. Thanks. We did the D word. Ah, oh, man. Can we get one more stress heal in? Oh, no. <laughs> we can't. We had to kill him. That would have been a full stall around. So we could have gotten stressed off that. Ah, uh, the ruby is good to see. Hmm. So a lock of patient cells for like 1100, but it doesn't stack. Um, you know what? I'll throw down the two busts for now. What? That was the last battle? What the crap? We don't have to go to this entire side of the... I mean, I'm gonna go over there for loot. But that's crazy. <laughs> Good thing I went this way first. Um, Alright, so Holy Water on the Eldritch Altar gets rid of a random negative quirk. Zoophobia would be good. It's a 50% chance. Anemic would be good. Possessed by demons. Fear of Unholy and Sickly. Who have chosen wisely. I'm going to try to get rid of fear on unholy or sickly. Either way, it's good. Joy to watch an auction not include. I was just talking about that um, a couple days ago that I wanted to play that again sometime. I'm thinking about doing some uh, some different things in May. I don't know. C word. C word during an S word often leads D word. Having to R word. <laughs> um, I'm not going to comment on this say what I think that means um, I'm going to stun it R word run away from the Chandler encounter like Brave Sir Robin or can you only flee if you summon it from an altar you can run so they changed it used to how it worked Python is you can actually cheese that 
So if you were to go here and it was a 1% Shambler, you could run from the battle, and then when you re-entered, it would re-roll the battle. But they changed that shortly after Color of Madness to where now it'll stay a Shambler. So you can run from it, but that tile will remain a Shambler. A good crit. As long as we don't get point blank shot, crit should be in pretty good shape. I, I want him to point blank shot, but not crit, basically. Dodges. It's down to eleven. Down to four. We gotta heal her in case she gets point blank shot. With the many letter words, had to get mod approved. We're being posted. Weird. That's a Twitch side thing. That's not a bot side thing. <clears throat> Is C word or R word like that <laughs> blacklisted for Twitch? It's weird. Twitch does that now? Oh, yeah, it's been like that for a long time. Um, so we can stun him. Have you ever won this challenge, or that's your light all boss blood moon? No. I've done torchless deathless blood moon, but I haven't done it with all bosses included. Is it the same health as you left it? No, it re-rolls the fight. The ones in Dark's Dungeon 3 are, uh, are unique in that they stay at the same status as you left them. Well, it's not being hurt by words. It's that some communities don't want certain words or certain things used there. Um, despite the innuendo side of things, we're a pretty mild community. You, you could you could have, most of the time, you could have, like, your kid watch this stuff and uh, not have to worry too much about it. So, I mean, there's obviously words I'm not going to let in our chat, and it's not because I, I'm afraid of the words or, you know, they make me feel uncomfortable or something. But I'm not going to let someone come in here and post racist crap or something. So, I mean, it, make, it makes sense to me, anyway. Twitch, so how it works is Twitch has a level that you select. So you can select no moderation at all, and I'll just let everything through. Or you can select uh, slightly more than that, or you can select a strict. Mine isn't strict. Um, mine's the one right above none. So to say. Fortnite is 14, the bounty. How's that supposed to work? What do you mean, coach? How's it supposed to work? So anybody knows that? That's if you want to take them that way. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Yeah, coach. Yeah, so I mean, you choose, like, how... strict the auto mod is, basically, with j but it's not... It's not precise. You you choose it based on like a lever. And ours is right above the, um, right above the not auto modded at all. So, which I think it's fair. And uh, it's just weird that it caught what Larkin said though. Like that seems really odd that that would be on the, uh, that'd be on there. Deeds we do need. I think I'm actually gonna throw down the lock. On. Keep on going. Somewhere. <laughs> Decepticons. Autobots. Rollouts. We're going to use a shovel on this. You can use a shovel or a key. We're going to try to save our key. If only treasure could staunch the flow. Uh, Otherworldly corruption. I'm going to take the golds. Take the money and run. Only has three fingers and a thumb. Everyone aside from the ancestor. Long sample appropriate, barely get a taste for the game. I mean, that's been the case with a lot of things. It's like outward. It's mainly, it's not necessarily to show off the game. It's to show off that there is a Twitch Prime promotion that gives you a month of Final Fantasy XIV for free. Yeah, Vulture. So everyone aside from the Ancestor only has three fingers and a thumb. But he has all of his. 
wealth beyond measure awarded to the brave and the fool um, like I want to do more of the dungeons I'm gonna drop those for now <clears throat> toss the herbs well I mean there's two curios that herbs are used on in here so Ugh, I know your story about it uh, we have a key but there's still a chance for us to find a secret room so I'm gonna not use it Finding the stuff is only oh yeah I forgot about that Phoenix yeah yeah now it must be carried home so we're already done with a dungeon quest but I'm gonna try to get more loot out of it maybe those dark forces extra finger <laughs> we have so we're immune to hunger in the next hallway we have one more hunger proc worth of food left um, I guess I'm gonna attempt that without like the middle finger is the extra one <laughs> all I ask for is that I have a middle finger so I may lift it towards the miller as the heavens rain upon his farmstead okay Bagus can cause disease. We want to kill them first. Fortunately, they're not really stunnable, but we can put damage. In. We can just kill it. <laughs> that works for me. Uh, spitters aren't a big deal unless you're marked, so not worry about this. Downside to maggots is maggots don't drop loot in normal light. Now, in zero light, they have an extra loot roll chance. So, and, and there's a spitter, so we will get loot off this. Might not be anything massive though never gonna be the farmstead I don't think the farmstead's too bad um, I mean if you ever need like to know a good team for the different parts of it you can always let me know I can try to tell you what I think welcome back your steadfast you know that means? Assume the posture. appreciated neobium neobium thank you for the three month resub but a victory level four Oh, okay, I got I got you. I got you. Yo, we have one thing with a resub. Using the Twitch Prime, it financially supports the stream as well. Love and sandwiches to Neobium. Hey, so big. How's it going? Holy water in the urn for guaranteed loot. A fortune waiting to be spent. Oh, the sub two wouldn't you have to have uh, the tier two. Oh, that's alright, no worries. <laughs> uh I'm gonna throw down the holy water. Come on, critical scout. We know there's not a battle in here. Just don't fit. Spitters get absolutely no... Yeah, I know. I've thought... Yes! We did it! <laughs> um, hopefully we get a critical scout in this room. We find the secret room before we leave to open with our last key. Now, the only thing that would make that better if there's a Junia's head inside that box... If not, maybe a Barristan's. Where are the heads? This is our second or third secret room with no heads. Prayer. It's a Christmas <laughs> miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. All right. We still have four food. We can we can keep looking for more loot. We see there's no battles coming up to. Where are the heads? Where are they? Like it's so weird. I I don't know what the percent chance is. I used to think that you were guaranteed uh, at least one of the heads if you open that and you didn't have any yet. Apparently not. Okay, so that, that hunger proc means that we can only go through the next hallway without getting, uh... We can do that. We can do both of those, actually. Yeah, we can do everything left in here with no food. That's fine. Hey, look! I threw down the herbs. How's hunger work? Uh, if you feel hungry, you should eat until you're no longer hungry. Uh, try not to overeat. It's... it's we, One thing you can do, chitin, is you can get smaller plates, so it looks... You trick your brain to save more food. Karma beat you to the chest. He'll eat anything. <laughs> Collector nicked him, probably. 
anyone does want to know how hunger works in Darkest Dungeon and you haven't already heard me say it, I will I will answer that question. Your null's not set up yet. Yeah, that is a really weird team though, Larkin. I mean, I've kind of thought about it before, like it doesn't really make sense, there's no synergy there. I don't know, I don't know why that's a team. How does speed work? Well... I'm no biologist, but I can tell you what I know. Uh, this one's actually dead. You don't know how hunger works? I'll explain it. How does breathing work? So... God. <laughs> People that have been here forever just... They're, they're like, wait... They're taking out their... Their bingo board. They're getting ready for this. So, uh, the way hunger works... Is... <laughs> um... Hunger is like an invisible trap tile. So, it can only appear where there's no other curio. So, they can only be on a, t a hall tile. And they cannot be on any other occupied space. If you get a hunger proc anywhere, you're immune to hunger for the rest of that hallway and the next hallway. So since we got a hunger proc here, I knew that we we're immune in this hallway and we're not in this one. The other thing that makes you immune is if you camped. If you camped, you're immune to hunger for the next hallway as well. Never got that. We need to set up a real one sometime. I like a game reward. Yourself, Don't do it, it's nasty jug. You do crazy killer. stuff. Strength of a dozen men. Sounds like someone might have experienced something. More She-Hulk than Hulk himself. <laughs> That was a pretty good dungeon. I mean, she got a lot of stress, but otherwise, and we had a death's door, but it was we weren't in danger of dying. More bones returned to rest. Devils Look at that. To their abyss. Thirty thousand gold. We got at least one trinket that we're, we're gonna sell. What's our damage here, though? Ruin scrounger is good. Obsessive killing kind of sucks. Fast healer doesn't matter. Faithless doesn't matter. It's a good dungeon, all all things uh considered. Excuse me. A fresh irritant. The sum. A sanguine memory to me. My god, is this run stabilized? If I could get a Junia's head or a Bearston's head, I'd be over the moon. Alright, let's see what there is this week. Holy Orders I don't care about. Um, Gentle Tide. Don't really care about it either. It looks like we're going to try to open up the wield boss. It's weird that we have no percentage there, huh? Yeah, no problem, Raider 2. I don't, I don't mind doing it. It's just one of those things that I've, uh... I've explained hunger and things a lot, so it's become sort of like a channel meme. But I still... I don't, I don't mind doing it. It's just funny when it's, when it's asked. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll open up the wields meme. What did what freeze? I have no dropped frames or anything. And we're not connected to Chicago, so we should be good. Alright, we'll do the short wields. Wasting sickness. Channel memes. I used to make a meme every week. And then I took an arrow to the knee. Hmm. What's up with Shaka? So, tw when you when you stream, it tries to connect you to the closest Twitch server, and the Chicago server is only like three hours away from me, so it always tries to connect there. But it seems like the Chicago server gets overloaded sometimes, especially on weekends. Because it, it must be really close to a lot of streamers. Um, so I'm connecting to a different one. Get way too much enjoyment for that. <laughs> um... Demon of Mania, huh? Uh, 
All right, we should be good with this. It's just a short. As long as we don't have quad spiders ganging up on our jester, we just fine. That's never happened. Never. Never in the history of Darkest Dungeon has a jester died to the hands of four spiders. It's probably where most of my jesters have died. Actually. Uh, so let's get Irish stress yields. Uh, 17. What's Tet have going on? Flagellant. I do an igdu, by the way. Just want to chat something, but for the life you can't remember who. You watched Evolution last night, so you want to say something to Tet then, probably. A few nights off, been here and dead, and got to rejoin. I'm sorry, Steven. It's been it's been crazy. We've gone through so many runs. You were a Houndmaster, I believe, if I remember right, this time. Or were you a, or or were you a Shieldbreaker this time? What are those two? How you doing, Steven? All right, any diseases we want to get rid of this week? No. Oh, I need to do a giveaway. Uh, guys, after this next dungeon, after this next short dungeon, we're going to do a uh, Steam giveaway, Steam key giveaway. All you have to do is be a follower of the channel, so if you haven't followed already, uh, think about following the channel so you can see when I'm live on Twitch again, and uh, also so you can enter the giveaway. For We have all kinds of keys, from $5 keys to $60 keys. Our community grows. Akadow. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but uh, Akadow. Dow, thank you for the follow. Our community grows. Fox Thunder. Fox, thank you for the follow also. Hey, Ronald, how's it going? Welcome in. Hentai keys? No, I keep those. I'm not giving those away. Let's go in my secret drawer. My secret Twitch drawer. Or, I mean, <laughs> Steam up drawer. It's great for alcohol. Hmm. So let's see. Obsessive killing. I might get rid of that. I don't know. We're not going to use them a, a lot. Obsessive cleanliness is pretty annoying too. Hero Mania can be really annoying. That's what killing. Uh, all right, we'll go ahead and get rid of that. It's a force interaction quirk. We don't want them to force interact with thing. Remember the numbers for which, oh, for the quotes or? So we're gonna sell any trinkets we're not gonna use this next week or ever uh, because we have the bank. The bank gives us 5% income on any gold we leave behind, so we want to make sure to leave as much gold behind as we can. Okay, double healing trinkets on our Vestal, our Jester. Uh, his downside is has low health, so we're going to put um, health stone and the protection stone on him. Does slow him down, but should be okay. How is going to get scouting and stun since he's in position 2. And for the flagellant, they're mainly going to be killing based on their bleed. So, the extra damage on these is it too big of a deal? Okay. I think we're good to go. So yeah, again, we'll, we'll give away a Steam Key after this dungeon, so follow the channel if you haven't already, and uh, stick around, and you can enter to win. Okay. So all the food, two shovels, basically two of all this other stuff. Probably one holy water, just in case we run into Eldritch Altar. So food, shovels, uh, curio interaction, we got our trinkets. Uh, let's see. Upgrades, trinket skills, upgrades, trinket skills, upgrades, trinket skills. I know we have these, but I think we're gonna be okay. Like they're mainly gonna be stress healing or buffing, so I don't think these will come into a, to play a ton. Just your half. Yeah, I mean, it, it, 
I, I noticed that last week too. I don't think it'll be a big deal. The main thing is they might end up with rabies here too. But the Jester's pretty much going to be, especially because we're still low level, he's probably going to be stress healing 90% of the time. When he's not stress healing, he's probably going to use Battle Ballad anyway. So I think we'll be okay, especially on a short. We'll probably get rid of Tetanus next week though. Oh, I forgot about that. Uh, the Flagellant got the 20% damage. So this is another reason I, I like to stress heal in the Abbey. So one of the positives for the Penance Hall is that there is a small chance that the character you use gets a damage boost for their next uh, quest. And it, they keep it until their next quest. It doesn't go away the next week. So our Flagellant will be dealing 20% additional damage in this entire time. It's kind of long for a short dungeon. Uh, this is a team that doesn't make a lot of sense in Apprentice. Uh, dungeons, these guys don't mark an Apprentice, so the Scratchers don't deal extra damage. Now, it's still a big, like, deal of stress coming in, but, uh, yeah, it's not as bad on Apprentice level. So we're just gonna kill the stress casters and, uh, and stress you the whole time. Hey, Lord of Loser, welcome back. Fiddles, 10 hours, Fiddles, you can join the queue now if you want to be a character. Exclamation join if you want. Go ahead, go ahead and use the dog treats. Destroyed. Before we end up throwing them down. Dog treats uh, gives 50% damage, 15 accuracy, accuracy buff on the Houndmaster. For three rounds. That one's dead. Hopefully our Vestal goes for our Jester. I doubt it though. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. I was thinking about extending this out even further, but uh, I don't think I need to. The Jester. I guess it depends on if we get double crit here or something. Oh. Okay. Doesn't even take a crit. How are you doing, Celica? There's an hour cooldown on uh, Resolve and Deathblow. For none that didn't know. So whatever you are, when you roll it, that is what you are for for an hour. Diminished. Um, we already hit twice this round, so I don't need to hit again. I can't call in reinforcements or anything like that. As long as you hit two times for rounds uh, with a damaging move or a move that can deal damage. Again. Trying to summon Cletus again. Oh, double crit heals. Hey, everybody, my name's Cletus. <laughs> Anybody want some cornbread? Cletus Roulette. I like the vote for the the uh, sound command type thing. Or how come I never set any of those up before? I didn't really realize how it worked, I guess. But it's pretty good. I'm gonna have to add more of them. Like we talked about. Okay, they're dead. So we'll just heal and stress heal here. Hey Gabe, welcome back. I have a whole set to play with, I know. Just gotta get some time and feel it, all right. I haven't felt too great. Well, you guys know. I haven't been feeling uh, too great for about a week. So instead of working after the stream, I've been just it's kind of doing nothing. <laughs> the flow of other All right, on we go. You can dig that up with a shovel, but whatever lines. Uh, so right now there's two different uh, custom Wayne June lines that we have that uh, if enough people, there's a 10 minute cooldown, but there, if enough people use the commands, um, and it's off cooldown, it will play the line. So for the like Christmas one, it takes five votes to play it. Um, whoever gets the fifth one, it'll play it as long as it's not on cooldown. So you can use holy water on this. It's a Christmas miracle. 
You use holy water on this for a guaranteed, uh, for not virtue, <laughs> quirk. We're gonna try to get a defensive quirk on the jester. The main reason I'm doing it though is because he has less than the others. So let's cool down ten minutes right now. Balanced move resist. Eh. Single stress caster. We should be able to kill it and just stress heal this whole time. Last time we ran into the ectoplasm, they crit us like crazy though. Earlier tonight. Just got really unlucky. They don't have a super high crit chance, especially on Apprentice. But man, they were destroying us. Just gonna bleed out. Oh, not quite. Hopefully someone goes before her. Okay, she's dead. The slow death. Unforeseen. Good crit. I might add, uh, like, the cooldown, I might make them longer if we get a lot more of them. That way, like, every 10 minutes, it, we're not playing, like, 15 sound commands or something, you know? But right now, 10 minutes feels, feels decent, I think. Double stress caster again. Uh, we don't need necessarily to heal stress right now. I think I'm going to go ahead and buff damage accuracy and speed for our team in the hopes that we go before them next round and they can only, they only get this round of stress cast again. That's the plan anyway. We'll also use our last dog treat. More rest than usual. Try to finish a few things each day. Increases amount. Phil, you ready to do more? Is to work? Oh yeah, I know. I And I've been doing that game for like... I mean, it's not just that. Um, I won't get into it all, but I've been forcing myself to basically work like 80-something hours a week now for a year and a half and uh, and not sleep very much. And I think... I'm pretty sure some of that is catching up now, you know? But that's not all of it, unfortunately. Confidence surges as the enemy yeah, I think you gave it. But I only sleep like four or five hours a day on average, which isn't good, I know. Someday I will sleep again, but it is not this day. Uh, so they're dead, actually. I think I'm just gonna pop back in front of her. Stress you. Yes, thank you, Phoenix. <laughs> um, let's stun one of these. I mean, they're dead anyway. So let's just stun one of these so that uh, prevent their incoming damage. The possibility of them critting. Gently. This is how a life is taken. What do we say to the god of sleep? Not today. Yeah. <laughs> so Rand even justify it. Oh, I know. I, I, I try not to say it too much because I don't want it to seem like. I mean, some of it's my own fault, you know. Uh, but I'm definitely not like, woe is me sort of thing for sure. It's just how it is right now. But. You have no excuse, misfortune. <laughs> Came to the sun, uh, basically living here, start to finish. Oh yeah, thank you, I tell. Like I tell people, uh, that's one reason why we don't do sub-only things. Like the giveaway that we're gonna do, so for anyone that didn't hear, we're giving away a steam key after this dungeon. Uh, we're gonna give away several tonight, actually. It is not sub-only. Like we, I tried to not do anything sub-only because there are so many people that support the channel with their time, and that's very important too, so like, if uh, if someone welcome back your steadfast loyalty hey Scorpios welcome back no no not Christmas yet Deathfire Deathfire thank you for the resub but the two months the Twitch Prime they were using the Twitch Prime here it financially supports the stream just like a normal sub thank you Deathfire love it see what is the Deathfire some people can handle it I'm definitely not function 100% though uh, let's see if we can get one more stress heal in before he dies. So anyway, what I was saying is, there's there are people that would like to financially support the stream, but maybe they can't. Or, you know, maybe there's people that uh, like the stream but don't want to financially support it. That's okay, too. So I try to, uh, try to make it, like I said, or, you know, 
I'm saying this because of what Hytala posted. Like, if you if you spend time here, it helps tremendously. And that's why all our giveaways and queue and stuff like that is based on time and not on uh, not on subs. Oh yeah, no, no, misfortune. <laughs> I, I knew you weren't like that. Uh, so this has a really high chance of loot or a map. Hmm. Coach creeping up towards that thousand mark. Hey, coach. Hey, what are those emotes hiding in there, Kitan? Yeah, exactly, I tell him. Wear your stuff. Chill streams. Thank you, Gabe. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Gabe. Appreciate it. Stream means a lot. To me and my family, I mean, it's crazy. We we pay... Uh, I'm able to pay most of the bills. I mean, I'm able to pay the bills minus the mortgage with the stream, which is un unbelievable. It's really awesome. So. All right. Misfortune 634. I'm going to buff speed in hopes that we get a heal in before they get to go. <laughs> Thank you for the hours, Misfortune. Quickens. Go in our country yet yeah, to have any Yeah, so fiddles. No, no problem. There are plenty of free ways to support a stream. And fiddles, just spending time here does so. So appreciate the sentiment, fiddles. But thank you for spending time here. Okay, good heal. The best streamer ever. <laughs> oh, I know, Kug. How do you feel about peeing on kids? Depends. What age is the other person that's peeing on kids? Now, you, a normal person would say, Oh, no, God, what? <laughs> you know what I mean. Alright. Half, half, half the viewers just leave. Look at this, we're clean. Oh, more filth. Did they deserve it? Oh, the double dodge. Yes, sir. Quote 510 is the best. Press this advantage. Make it nice. You're a champion spent. Got what it takes. How do you feel about peeing on kids? <laughs> Flagellant. Yeah, Flagellant's still good. I, it's... The Flagellant is really good at running dungeons. Uh, he's not overpowered like he used to be. He was especially overpowered against bosses. Specific bosses, I guess. But uh, they toned him down quite a bit. And he's still okay. He's just not, like, stupid good. So another thing I've been thinking about is... Uh, so... BTTV emote slots... I've been thinking about doing some of those, uh, not just the default ones, obviously we'll have the default ones enabled still. But I've been thinking about doing some of those that are, uh, like, so replicated ones from or is it Twitch or popular channels that are actually like a image cutout rather than a, than a drawing. I don't know if, like, uh, General Andrews did one recently and I was like, oh, hey, I was thinking about doing that. So anyone that's been over at General Andrews stream, he has one, a BTTV or a... Franker's emote, one or the other, that is uh, uh, Andrew's game. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw it. But anyway, I'm thinking about doing some stuff like that too, if I ever have some time. I don't know how useful they will be, but... Quote 1045 is probably your favorite. Let's not start peddling human flesh here on at stream. Yeah, I bet you can guess who that quote originated around. I'll give you one guess, Miss Fortune. So it's super hard. It's super difficult. Starts with an R. Uh, let's get in a stress heal. Why not? Game at some point. Um, it's interesting too. Like I don't really watch him. I don't. I don't really like their streams too much. I have nothing against them, so to say. It's just not really my on fleek, as the kids would say. It's not. I don't know. It's just not what I enjoy watching on Twitch usually. But 
Uh, I do keep an eye on a lot of the different level streamers like that uh, to see kind of stuff that they're doing and if they find new interactive things and whatnot. And one of the interesting things about Baru is if you... There, there's this YouTube series where it goes into what what made a certain streamer more popular or really big. And there's one on Baru that I watched and they... I mean, they seem pretty neutral about everything, so I don't think they were just saying this. But anyway, they seem to think that one of the major reasons that their channel got so big, or at least why they have so many subscribers, is because of the emotes. These emotes are the best. Yeah. So, I mean, there's, there's a lot of people. Uh, you can see it on Reddit, too. There will be... We don't need all that food. I see a post on Reddit every now and then that's like, who on Twitch has the best emotes and are worth subscribing to just for the emotes? And people will say, oh, I've been subscribed to Baru for like two years, but I don't even go to his channel. I just have it because I just pay the $5 to get the emotes. So it's like, man, they, uh, I know that's not the only success on their channel, but it's just crazy thinking about that. Kind of like his, hey, Route, how's it going? Google Pandas. Um, so this one marks, and then these do big damage to mark targets. So as long as we kill the fungal artillery, keep it stunned, and then kill it before it gets a mark in on us. The ground quakes. So that's him for the emotes. Yeah, it's crazy. Eating dinner? What you eating, Rap? We had pizza tonight. Celebratory pizza because of the stream last night going so well. I think uh, people do that. I don't know that one. Uh... What emotes do they have, Silica? I don't know that. Or at least it doesn't ring a bell. Alright. Um, so this is going to bleed out. We'll just heal. Hey, Kim. Welcome in. For once, was it emote before? Which emote was it, Kitan? Can we all? We're on 20 still. Dance Gaming is your favorite streamer. Love those emotes. Stream all together and live off subs from his emotes? Yeah, probably. It's crazy. Probably so. Cooked tofu, rice, shrimp, some beef, some tomatoes. Sounds good, Rap. Oh, the suck it emote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember you using that. Lots of cause like... The Knife emote. Why are you so fascinated by it? <laughs> That's pretty interesting, Rebel Rod. So, it makes me wonder, too. Um, we have people that subscribe to the channel that don't come by anymore. But I see that our Darkest Dungeon emotes get used in other channels a lot. So it makes me wonder if we also have some people that are subscribed just so they have more Darkest Dungeon emotes to use. In other Darkest Dungeon streams, like when people get virtued or whatnot, it's fine by me. Impressive. Yeah. And then we have me as Vegeta for the hype. I've seen that one used a little bit too. I'm really wanting that hentai emote. I'm thinking people will, will use that one, but that's that's a way out there. We won't be able to get that for a long time. So yeah, we're on attempt 20. Uh, you know what? Let's see if we can just get the rest of the stress off. Why not? Play a spin on Twitch. Be for Dark Dungeon emotes. Hey Varden, how's it going? Look at that, no stress. I mean, we still have two do fights left, but this momentum. Push on to the task's end. And we brought the exact number of shovels. Bit too busy. No worries, Varden. I understand. I mean people get busy or get sick and tired of Darkest Dungeon or sick and tired of me or the stream and any of those, all of those. Never any hard feelings. It's good to see you though, Varden. So the fungal artillery's mark. We really need to kill the dog, though. I think I'm just gonna buff. In 
all the runs. Most of them ended within the first three weeks. I think I'm just going to try to kill the dog first. Ugh. Well, the dog's dead next round, but we're probably going to get marked, and then we're probably going to get rinned. Perfectionist, yeah. Usually not a huge deal on the flagellant. Uh, accuracy is a big deal on the flagellant, though, in general, like, if he has a low accuracy, because you don't want to miss, like, Exanguinate, you know? You don't want to miss anything, but, uh... If you miss ex Exanguinate... Not only do you not get the damage, but you don't get the heal. Gonna have a bad time. So now this fungal artillery is going to use escape cloud over and over. Uh, I don't know what the crit chance is on escape cloud, but I swear it feels like one of the highest crit chance moves in the game. Like, escape cloud seems to crit so much. And part of that, oh, got lucky I guess. Part of it, I think, is because it hits two targets. So I think it has decent crit chance, and it has two different chances to crit. But man. Yeah, lots of early deaths. Okay, those two are dead. Can we stun this one? Yeah, okay. Should be good. Should be good. Let's do our checks and fell death blow benefits. <laughs> Yeah, and I mean, if he dies, he'll stun the whole enemy team so they can watch in amazement as we delete the save file and start anew. Okay, that's dead. Look at that. Stupid flagellant coming out with a health, a health. What? Sorry, Cletus was coming out. Expedition at least. <laughs> coming out with a health deficit. <laughs> Cletus, get back in there. Oh, almost walked on that trap. Fluffkins almost seventeen hundred hours. Thank you, Fluffkins. Okay, so we're immune to uh, hunger prox for the rest of this hallway. Whoa, recovery charm. It could have been better, but that's a blue that's a blue trinket. It's not bad actually either. Like uh there are some sometimes I would actually use it. Hey everybody, my name is Cletus. Anybody want some cornbread? <laughs> Thanks for summoning Cletus. I try to put him away. Phoenix 13 to 14. Kim, 25 on the dot. Thank you, Kim. Full night, full day. Death waits for the slightest Wrong call, Bryn. So, they didn't use a... Uh, they didn't end, oh, end up using a stress cast, but it still crit, so it still didn't stress. Clean, 25. <laughs> oh, no! She resisted. Souls is depressing for you. I know. You were so high up on the list. Number four. And then you let work become more important than hanging out at a random Twitch stream. Who does that? Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna buff our speed actually crit for next round. They're dead. heal on the wrong person. Yeah, who does that, Raider? I don't even know. Mortality it's our last fight. I mean, I might summon another battle after this, depending on how we make it out, but... Okay, she's dead too. Please leave Seeker alone. Thank you. Good dodge. Yeah, we might as well do another battle. Real life, 2019, I know. What's wrong with these people? I'm gonna jump back in front of her. How's your uh, your high run doing, by the way, Fluffkins? And any news on your car?
bold words. <laughs> The high run. Still going with no deaths and no news yet on the car. So I can't believe you got all three boxes within within the first 20 weeks. Hey Goggle, how's it going? Welcome in, Goggle. Masterfully okay. executed. Run 33 to be the winning run. Why not run 20? How come, how come no one thinks this is the run? Only the people that are in the run think it is the run. And that's only for selfish reasons. You think so, Cam? Thank you, Cam. Yeah. Cam and I are correct. This is the run. Barely. <laughs> you barely think it's the run? <laughs> this is the urn? Hopefully not, it's not the urn. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. You believe? Might as well summon another battle. <laughs> I mean, look at us. That's what we're gonna do. So for anyone that doesn't know, when you go into a hallway that you've already been in, you have a chance to summon a battle, a trap, a hunger proc, or nothing. And we have we're in good shape and we have the food so i'm gonna try to summon another battle uh we basically have let's see one two we have two slots of provisions so we want to replace those with loot if we can shambler i want it to be a collector honestly like this team is okay against the shambler it's not the greatest mainly because of the level and the health but um we haven't seen a collector get in the run. So we will, in fact, be that which is the run. Hey, two battles. Swing blow, bad for Solon because of his damage range. Kinda. I mean, it's still better than him smiting. Um, but, yeah, that was something that I was kind of wondering, or not wondering about, that I was a little bit worried about, Route, once they did that. Like, the Crusader's stunning blow can deal big damage like it's only got a, what a 50% damage penalty now and when it crits it I mean it hits hard but uh, if you don't have any other options you might as well use it but it's definitely harder to stall out now than it used to be with a crusader if he's the one doing the stunning now if you have someone else doing the stall parts and he's stress healing obviously it doesn't matter but all right um the problem is those last two... Okay, that last spot could end up being hunger proc. So let's go ahead and do this. So this has a 1% chance to be a shambler, a 3% chance to be a collector. I kind of want a collector, to be honest. Uh, two stress casters. The madman has a 4% chance of dropping one of three very rare trinkets. Um, they would all three be pretty good for us at the moment. Like, if I had to pick, I would probably pick Crescendo right now. Which is, uh, speed and damage. But. Why do I want a Collector? Because the Collector has a chance to drop... This team would be good against the Collector. And he also has a chance to drop one of the Head Trinkets. And we've had two secret rooms. And we still don't have a Head Trinket. Uh, I really want Junia's Head. That's the main reason. What's the Collector? The Collector is a mini-boss who summons uh, three other mobs on his side. And if you kill them, he just resummons them. But if you kill him, uh, they all die as well. And so he can spawn as a hall battle if you have over 60% um, inventory space filled up. God, look at these dodges. Uh, hey, Beard. Like the new haircut? Fresh shave? Thanks, Beard. 4.17. 4.16. Hey, <laughs> Beard.
Yeah, so the collector will only can only spawn if you have more than 60% of your inventory full, which you usually do, you know. Uh, once you have over 60% of your inventory full, Apprentice Hall Battles have a 3% chance to spawn, a 3% chance to spawn the, uh, the collector. And, oh god, these dodges. Veteran has a 4% and Champion has a 5%. Dodges, man. Killing me. A powerful blow. Team's gonna leave inflicted. Nah. 5% is a lot. Yeah, especially when you're doing a lot of hall battles. So you end up running into the collector a bit during the game, usually. I don't know. Like, usually a playthrough. Probably run into the collector like four or five times. Maybe more. Sometimes less, obviously, but. The thing is, uh, once we get to champion dungeons, we're going to try to avoid as many hall battles as possible because we don't want a champion shambler. So, in a roundabout way, we also avoid a lot of the collector fights. 20 and a d20. 5%, yep. yep. A decisive pummeling. Crit. The collector is not affected by light level for its spawn, no. It's not. So just heal. Still got a lot of stress coming in from that, uh... Yeah, it's not too bad, actually. From the Madman. We have another fight. I mean, I don't know. We might be okay if it's a Shambler, too. I don't think I want it to be a Shambler, but if it was a Shambler, I'm... I think we would at least attempt the fight to start with. And if it got bad, we'd run away. Uh, Shambler's only a 1% chance right here, though. Okay, we're killing this a little bit slowly so that we can uh, stress heal here. Gotta be a little careful because I don't want him to crit and give us more stress than what we're healing, but should be fine. Yeah, he's dead. Come kill the run. No. No more deaths. Please. Food. Had too many, man. We've gone through so many people in the queue the last, like, two weeks. Style Art Buckle sells for 1100 so we can put that in place of the bandage. Come on, Collector. Just another normal battle. Ooh, good crit from Hoopa. We're down to nine. Don't forget, we're doing a giveaway after this dungeon, so if you, uh, if you didn't hear, or if you just got here, whatever. Um, we're going to give away a Steam key after this dungeon. A random Steam key. Anywhere from 5 to $60 game. All you have to do is be a follower. You don't have to subscribe or anything like that, so if you haven't followed already, think about doing so. i got to update your hours, Cam, huh? <laughs> I'll do that tonight, though. As long as you follow the channel, you can enter the giveaway after the, uh, after the dungeon. The D is for Donger. There's poop everywhere. Good wholesome quotes. As are all of our quotes. Ours pleb. <laughs> Everyone had to start somewhere, I'm, but I mean, I know yours isn't legitimate, huh? Can I update your hours, too? I'll take away an hour for every hour that you had spent at that other stream. <laughs> what do you mean, Kitan? No, I can't update your hours. Wait, wasn't your previous name... Count me out? Oh, no, you see here lurking to an entire stream. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. Flash of Death's Door, Party Heal, repeatable, or is it once per battle? I think it's repeatable. I'm pretty sure it is, but I... I'm not, like, uh, 100%. I'd say I'm, like, 90% sure it's repeatable. 
Because I think... It's hard to remember because the last time we really had that come into play, we had four flagellants on a team, which you usually can't do. And uh, because of that, I don't know if it was the same one that was getting the proc or not, you know? Um, yeah, so not 100% sure. Can't do more than once per team. What do you mean? So... Per turn, yeah, yeah. Per turn, yeah. But per battle. I think it can proc more. Let's well, test? No. Because it procs when they hit Death's Door, and they can only hit Death's Door once. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's test. Absolutely not. Hey, look. No stress again. We still have food, too. Mount. So too will resist For science. Uh. Hey, Beavis. Welcome back. How you doing, Beavis? For science. Just did it. What about Death's Door? So when the Flagellant hits Death's Door, uh, they have an AoE heal for the whole team. It's not a huge heal, but it's a special mechanic for the Flagellant. So if your Flagellant does hit zero health, it AoE heals your team. Well, AO AoE heals the companions. Create more battles, that's what I'm doing. So if anyone's wondering what the craft's going on, why is he going in and out of that door? Well, when you go into a hallway, there's a chance to spawn a new battle, a trap, hunger proc, nothing at all. Nothing at all. I'll we'll do it once. I think he can do it multiple times a battle. For Shambler. The old in and outs. So, flagellant crit people to death's door. Our community grows. Panic point. Panic point. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. So, we spawned one battle. We've had one battle, yes. What about a second battle? Done why? I need to play the clip, huh? Or the sound bite. Yeah, that's what I should that's what I was thinking actually, Sid. So I should put the Dawn one on it. Actually shouldn't Dawn. Come on, second battle. Two percent shambler. We'll get our shambler's worth in veteran and champion dungeons. Hopefully we don't get any here. I'm just going to spam these buttons. If you guys could type really loudly once we spawn additional battles, I'd appreciate it. Nope. No more yet. Alright, let's just do this one. Prog Collector. Or just any battle run out. Because we have four food left, so I might as well place something there. Crystal Dungeon Chandler. It's a Christmas miracle. You guys would have woke me up for no reason. I mean, you would have woke me up for a Christmas miracle. <laughs> Alright, that one's dead. Oh, it's not. He didn't get stunned. I spoke too, too quickly. Now he's dead. Oh, the quad dodge. Point blank shot. Only a seven, no crit. It's good. It's not a miracle, but you were hoping for one. Yeah. That one's dead. This is the stun. So we can get this done. It usually doesn't use a uh, point blank shot back to back, but. Favorite line besides the birthday message is the cue. Cue the actual game. Sounds like that would be the quote. Yeah, I know. I like. I think that's one of my favorite ones too. I keep saying it's hard to choose which one's my favorite. I mean, obviously the birthday message is my favorite, especially the tacked on Cletus thing. But as far as the actual lines themselves, I don't know. Q one's really good. Q and the Cletus, yeah. They're both really good. They're also good.
So we decided if you're gonna try to uh, do any oven jerky ricks. It's also especially with the yeah I know I wasn't expecting that either. Hey everybody, my name is Cletus. Anybody want some cornbread? We were only one Cletus away. A victory, perhaps the turning point. Blind said he first is the graveyard. Most will find their way here. Yeah, I can see that. Hey, hipster, hipster. It's good to see you again. How have you been, hipster? Got some cheap, thin Walmart steaks to try it. Use a better steak next time. Uh, what kind did you get? Like, flank steak is really popular to use for jerky. Flank steak, I think, cube steak. I've never used cube steak, but I, I see a lot of people talking about using that for homemade jerky. But yeah, let me know how it is. Is there anyone here to misspell an aging hipster's name? How have you been though, hipster? Uh, I mean, the problem is this whole hallway might be full of hunger procs now, you know? So, like, we might not be able to spawn a new battle. But we have four food. We have another slot... So food, I believe, sells for what? Five gold each when you bring it back? It's five or ten. Can't remember. Five or ten. So we have like 40 gold maybe in food. That No matter what, we replaced it with. Yeah, skirt steak, flank steak. Is it hard to get here? Gotcha. Crazy busy, travel work, catch up on reading, family focus. Yeah, no worries, hipster. Never, uh, never any hard feelings if people can't or don't want to come to the stream. Always good to see people back. Through clear traps. Hunger, try again. Yeah, the only... I thought about that too. The only problem is, like, we only have four pieces of food. So, if... When you re-enter a hallway, it gets rid of your... Oh, there we go. It gets rid of your immunity. Hey, Ivex. How's it going? How many nights a week are you going to the gym, Ivex? Why, I'm just asking everyone personal questions as they come in tonight. Ivax, what's your gym routine? What kind of deodorant you're wearing, Ivax? Have anything else you want to share with the chat tonight? <laughs> Look now, tomorrow's holiday here, so no work. Good stream. Hey, Kim. Thank you for hanging out. Um, thank you for the lurk. You'll help out during the bounty, of course. Have a good night. I'll change your hours. What am I doing right now? So when you leave a hallway and re-enter a hallway that you've already been in, it has a chance to spawn battles, right? So I just spawned these two battles by doing that. This is a short dungeon. So we ended the short dungeon with provisions. Uh, so we want to do these battles because we're in good shape. And then we're going to replace our food with gold or something. Because taking the food back home with us does us no good. But uh, we can get uh, extra loot. So basically I'm doing it because... I want more loot to take home. Uh, I want to make the most out of this dungeon week. Good way. Alright, sounds good. Cam, thank you again. Have a good night. All the Wayne quotes. Oh yeah, I can play those again. We're going to do a giveaway after this, so... Went to Friday, swim. Went away to Friday. Like cardio weights. He waits on Tuesday, Thursday. And Old Spice. <laughs> Thank, thanks, Ivex. Yeah, no problem, Beavis. <laughs> Man, I, I didn't end up swimming last year. Swimming is like one of my favorite things to do. Anything else? No, I don't think I'm good. Because <laughs> I know you'll answer whenever I ask. So now I, I don't know if I should ask anything else. <laughs> is a rarity in the fever Loves any wins. Yeah, they're really awesome. Really awesome. Any good games last night? Passed out. Uh, we did like four giveaways, so I'm gonna do some more of them tonight. We're gonna do the first one after this dungeon, actually. Uh, what did we give away last night? Force Unleashed. Nightmarish creatures can be spelled. They can be beaten. And some other things. <laughs> I don't remember. It's kind of a blur.
Okay, so this is the last battle we're going to do. We replaced our food with money. Snake passes one. Thank you, Fiddles. Figment, yep. Figment, I think. So that was three of them. There was one other one. I can't remember what it was. So Star Wars, Snake Pass, Figment, and something. Don't remember. I sent them all out, so you'd think I'd remember, but do not. I don't know. I'll have Excel open soon, so I should be able to see. So we're going to try to come out here with no stress, which is pretty amazing. I mean, we've been stalling out at the end of these battles for that purpose. Stunning as much as we can. Hey, Dead Poet. How's it going, Dead Poet? We're gonna go down to one. It's not a big deal anyway. Look at that. No stress. Look, mom, no stress. What these days? My mom's gonna be watching. She's gonna type in the chat. No problem, son. Or good job, son. No, no problem. Like she's she did it. She got rid of all that stress. <laughs> down to 17. No critsies. Don't say the C word. Don't say the C word. You'll get you'll get C worded. I mean we're still gonna get it out with low stress, but man. 38 Celsius. Headaches lately. That is some hot weather. It's not that hot here yet. Uh it doesn't get that hot here too often actually, but I hear you. Sucks, dead poet. Okay, so can we stall for three more rounds? No. <laughs> we can stall for maybe like one more round. Probably not even that, actually. Um, bleed him out. Yeah. So it's the last one. About one to three, sort of. It's yeah. I, I guess it is sort of close to one to three, huh? There's a formula, but don't remember it exactly. To be honest, we're gonna end with three stress. Instead of no stress, like some sort of animal. Unless we crit heal him right here. What well, counts when the last guy has a lethal? Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't. A trifling as long as they're going to bleed or blind out the next round, yeah. 750 gold, emerald. So, by doing these battles, we got uh, a bit more gold, actually. So, it was worth it. It was worth it. Driving out corruption is an endless battle. Short dungeon, we got uh, 17,500 gold, plus we'll sell these. So we got about 19,000 gold. Week 14, somewhere like that, yeah. I'll double check. Infirm, minus 20% healing received. Hard skin is good, though. Uh, I wish I could move that hard skin down to Bladed Wolf. Clutch hitter on guard. Hey, it's time for a giveaway. I think that means I'm going to start seeing numbers in chat. Yep, week 15. Week 15, so one pass there, I thought. Hey, 761-62081. Challenge is going okay right now. We've stabilized finally again. We'll be giving away some more games uh, during the bounty tonight, specifically. So, let's get back into the dungeon. Tough ring. Looks like we're probably going to the cove, huh? It's a Horcrux. What, what is up with <laughs> Who is the Plague Doctor? Uh, let me double check. 
Wait, did I skip them? Why, it's big time zombie. It's you, zombie. Zombie, you're a gothic stress faster who fears God, believes you are possessed by demons, but you're soft. You are a hellion, yeah, you are Fluffkins. Still going good so far. So far. All right, medium cove. Uh, do we have any? Let's see. I need to get this leveled up. I need to get the blacksmith leveled up. Uh, I would also like to extend the stage coach a little bit, or the roster. There's nothing this week that I would take anyway, though. Probably. Yeah, not really. So we can wait on that. What is the bounty? Uh, exclamation bounty will explain a little bit more Celica, but it's basically a, uh, a way to support the stream financially with only having to lurk or be here during the bounty. So we play a different game for an hour and the developer and Twitch pay me out based on how many people view during that hour. We're gonna do that later in the stream. So basically what that means is that tonight, uh, for anyone, when you're done with the stream, if you could leave the stream lurking, if you could leave the um, video playing in some capacity, even if it's muted. As long as the video is moving, it will help support the stream. So I don't want to take our level twos, really. A gleaming endowment. Zombie. Zombie thing for the thousand and fifty bits. Cobalt, good luck. I need all the good luck I can get. Thank you, zombie, for all the bits. Appreciate the support. So many Hound Masters. Sijin 26, I only have two. Should level up at least one more. I think you get a big time zombie. So, uh, Phantasm Core, I'll go over the Hound Master just a little bit. But basically, the Hound Master is a really good character for a couple reasons. Now, it starts off a little bit weak, but it's got a few really key things that make it very strong, especially in Torchless Runs. One is the fact that it does have a stress heal. So, if we put it in position three or four, and we are stalling, they can stress heal. It's not a very reliable stress heal. It's not the greatest stress heal, but it is minus stress. The other thing is that they have reach. So Hound's Rush, even though it doesn't hit super hard and the bleed is kind of weak, it has reach. So the Hound Master can hit every position, which is really important because in Darkest Dungeon, you want to focus down whatever the biggest threat for you is at that moment. And it's usually a stress caster. So the Hound Master is really good at being able to hit wherever it's needed. Uh, the other thing is that scouting is very good. And Hound Masters have this trinket for zero light, the scouting whistle, which is a Hound Master specific trinket with 20% additional scouting. And they have a uh, camp skill, which is 30% additional scouting. So the Hound Master uh, is a good way to get a lot of scouting so that you don't get a surprise as many times on battles. You don't run into traps as much. You find more secret rooms. Um, and the last thing is that they can self heal as long as they're not in position one. And Guard Dog is really good because Dodge is very uh, Dodge is very good in the game. The higher you can get it, the better it is, obviously. But the like at a certain level of Dodge, it's it's like the best stat in the game. And so if you spam Guard Dog in some situations, you'll basically make it so the Hound Master is almost untouchable. So overall, the Hound Master is a good character. It's not the strongest damaging character, but he has a lot of utility. I do rely on them a lot in these runs. Should have minus five percent HP, minus five percent stress resist. Hmm, just because they're soft. Oh yeah, the bleeding purple. No worries, zombie. Yeah, no problem, Van Tasmacore. Let's get this ready. Um. So we're gonna take a Vestal, obviously. Let's sort by class. Seeker, on guard, Night Owl are both fine. Luminous Beast Slayer, Eldritch Hater, there we go. So Jerezy has a lot of stress starting out. Uh, we may or may not take them. Eldritch Hater is very good here, but they are gonna start out with, what, 50 stress. Dodge Shank, Spam, Garn, the Crusader, yeah. We get uh, we get both of them to 95% dodge. Uh, well, the Crusader a little bit less, and uh, we we dodge 
Dodge tank the boss, yeah. Um, hmm. I could just take Bladed Wolf again. That would allow us to take this Vestal. I mean, we don't have to take that Vestal, obviously. Could just take this one. We take a Houndmaster. Cove Scrounger is good. 5% scouting in the Cove. It's not who I want to take. We need to level up some Man at Arms, too. It's good dinner. Let's hop your mood out. Just hope it lasts. What'd you have for dinner, Hytella? It's good. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to extend the roster sometime soon. I think I'm gonna take a man at arms. Hmm. We could take Peter to start leveling him up, and we could take uh, Gurg or Frag, I guess. Gurg has Clotter and Spiritual, which is good. Obsessive Cleanliness isn't that big of a deal. Cove Scrounger, more scouting. There we go. There we go. What's more in character for you, viewer-wise, not playing-wise? Yeah, I can see that. Depending on how they are played, I suppose, but definitely how I play them. I can understand that. All right. Spaghetti, I like some spaghetti. Homemade onion rings today. How hot dogs? We had celebratory pizza because the stream went so well last night. Uh, so I had a meat lover's pizza with, well, I mean, pieces of a meat lover's pizza with, um, with jalapenos. Homemade onion rings. Man, I haven't had homemade onion rings in forever. Hot dogs. I'm getting hungry again. You don't use much on these runs. Which one, pineapple? Um, our level threes, we still don't need to stress you. Our modest fellowship expands. Hey. Praise the sub. Praise the sub. Phantasma Corps, thank you for the subscription. Guys, if you could drop some love and sandwiches in chat for Phantasma. Thank you, Phantasma, for using your Twitch Prime here. Uh, you've probably heard me say to people, I mean, it financially supports the stream, and in doing so, me and my family, and, um, Phantasma, thank you. Appreciate it. Cultus, fun to watch, because it could be disaster. I can see that too, yeah. <laughs> that's that's part of the reason I don't use it very much. I mean, I guess you know that, but... Okay, we're going to get rid of Tetanus, and we're going to see if there's any negative quirk we want to get rid of. This week. Um, let's get rid of Perfectionist, maybe, before it gets reinforced. Best meals, remember, it's homemade lasagna. Maximum level reached. Dan! <laughs> hey, Dan. <laughs> Dan, thank you for the resub. 15 months! Man, time goes by so fast. Beep, beep, I'm a Jeep. Wait, no, wait. Dan, you're not Jeep. Are you? <laughs> Dan, thank you for the resub. The tier three, the golden sub. The golden sub club. One of only, like, six ever members the Golden Sub Club. Dan. Thank you for the continued support. Much love, much sandwich to Dan. So confused? Were you confused about misfortune? Did I miss say something? Did you guys hear that? How could you not hear that? The crap? See Danner beep. Oh no, he was just using yeah, the beep beep on my jeep thing. What the crap? Fire plane? Some <laughs> something, man. Dan, thank you again. How you doing, Dan? How's everything going? Uh I think we're fine as is, huh? Yeah, we okay. 
Don't die? What the crap was that, man? Just start XCOM? Uh, I haven't restarted XCOM 1 yet. Have not yet. I'm thinking about it. Um, Alright, so we're going to do double healing trinkets here. Our mated at arms, we're going to give him stun. Houndmaster, we're going to give scouting. Hmm, on our Hyuman, I'm okay with him getting the 5% extra stress, I think. Because he's going to have 5% crit off that. Uh, I think I'm going to give him the 10% damage. A little risky, though. We'll do minus stress on Houndmaster. I don't know, I might give him speed, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. So, um, when the graphics are awful. We play two again? What do you mean? I already played XCOM. Oh. What do you mean by XCOM 1? I mean Enemy Within. Uh, I'm probably going to play Enemy Within again sometime. I already. I thought the graphics were still fine. I already streamed it a bit. Oh, the starting audio for XCOM. I gotcha. I gotcha. Girlfriend moved down about two weeks ago. So getting everything unpacked. Wait, how much stuff did she bring? <laughs> it's good, dude. Um, I'll sell these boots. I think I'm actually gonna sell the recovery charm. A lot. <laughs> Team for the court, like Hyman in three though. It depends. For me, I want to be able to stress heal even on position or uh, turn one, depending on the team we run into. Especially if we're like against a easy Pelagic Guardian team. Uh, this isn't usually the one I use for the court. It's fine to use there though, for sure. I do a mustache. All right, let's do it. Never played over a year. All the food, stack of shovels, stack of herbs, three keys, two holy waters. Should be good. Food, shovels, curio interaction. Yeah, we should be okay with that. Better from your addictions. It's kind of weird. There's there's a League of Legends uh, bounty at the moment. I don't have it, but... We're going to start doing the court. Uh, we usually do it around the mid-20s. So, as far as weeks go. So we're maybe like 10 weeks off from it. Pretty good for the time, even the original XCOMs. I'm sure they use These DOS games. Caverns are, caverns are fine enough. Nightmares. Yeah, Enemy Within wasn't too bad. I mean, I preferred XCOM 2. We actually did XCOM 2 um, War the Chosen on Legend Iron Man full playthrough on the stream. It was a lot of fun. I really, really love that game. And then we started an XCOM 1 Enemy Within blind run. And uh, Sekiro came out, and so I put it on holds, and now I need to go back to it. Carelessness will find no you know what? I'm actually okay with that debuff for him. He's probably going to go last anyway. And the court's a little bit riskier. DPS is good. Yeah, the, it's interesting. The flagellant used to be even better, obviously, than it used to be. But the flagellant is one of the uh, best things to use. Best characters used in the court and against the... Uh, the Fnatic. It used to be even better to use against the Fnatic, but... The League and Toyota team. So, these can give disease. Uh, they can give any disease in the game aside from Sky Taint. No Sky Taint. So hopefully they don't disease us, especially this early on into the dungeon. Have no way to heal disease. That sucks. Uh, let's go ahead and use a dog treat. Before we end up throwing him down, Confidence might as well. As the enemy crumbles. Oh, sky taint. I do morph. Welcome on in. Obsessed with the sky taints. So. Doing all right. Um, I'm gonna maybe stress heal here. It's a risk. Oh, and he dodged. But he's dead. 
Sky Taint is a disease that comes with the color madness. It's given by the thing from the stars. Oh, I guess they also can't give the Corvid diseases, huh? So they can't give the Shrieker or the thing from the stars disease, basically. What, what do you got, Seeker? Are you obsessed with material objects? Yeah. Not too bad. I hate it when you get tainted by the Sky Gods, right? I kind of miss being a vengeful Sky Gun. Some of you were around for that. We had a bounty one time where uh, it was it's it was a battle royale game, and we weren't really liking it too much. It was called uh, Darwin Project. It, it just wasn't super great, right? It was a battle royale. It was kind of weird, bouncy combat. And then, and then we realized that I could become the Sky God. And what that is is that game has like an announcer, like this overseer that flies around. And your job is to, like, sort of affect the battle in a way that sort of evens it out. Like, for instance, if someone didn't get lucky and they didn't get very many resources like wood, you can give wood to that person to help even things out. But no, that wasn't what I did as a Sky God. <laughs> so I would go around and I would make people do my bidding. And, uh... <laughs> and I, I would try to... I would try our best to make that person win. I would give them all the advantages in the world. I wouldn't I wouldn't make it even at all. Who would you give wood to? Oh, all kinds of people. So the beginning of a match. Real Sky God. I mean, not, not really. They couldn't see me. I just sort of was an entity that floated around the map and decided what to do. Let's guard this. Sky Overlord. I mean, I don't know. I could, like, spawn things and help people out. Close zones. I can make the ring or whatever close in certain ways to benefit people if I wanted to. And then which you would abandon a quest to save the run. Depends on a couple things, I guess. Like, for one, how far into that run are we? Uh, like, early game... I probably am not going to abandon a quest, you know? We, we just start over, just push it and try. Uh, unless we had a really good trinkets back at home or something, or something that was worth saving. I um, guess it just depends, yeah, on how much we have left, how, how bad things are. If we have someone that's nearing, like, heart attack level, maybe like 140 stress or so, I probably wouldn't push that. But it depends on a lot of things, I think. The name of the game was Darwin Project. Count me out, travel around, seeking. <laughs> Maybe. I know poison. Some ghost gives people loot and asks them to do things. Oh, they could hear me. That's the thing too. So, uh, it had voice chat, right? And they could hear me, and so. At the beginning, what what we do... God, I wish I had those VODs. Deck out, man. I, I didn't even think about saving those ones because it was just so... Anyway, what we would do... I did, Robert, is uh, at the beginning of the game, it would show all the different players. And I would ask chat. I was like, who is the chosen one? And, uh, you know what? I'm going to get another stress heal in. Chat would choose who we wanted to win. And so at the beginning of the game, at the very beginning, I would go to them and I would be like... I would talk to them and I would say, this is Sky God. You can hear me, but I can't hear you. You have been the... Ch I, I would, like, tell them this spiel about them being the chosen champion, and I would tell them, if you can hear me, if you want to be the chosen champion, crouch three times. And it never got old. I don't know why, but it never got old seeing random people start crouching three times. <laughs> and some of them uh, got familiar with the whole thing, right? So we would, we would go into a game, and I would go over to someone, and I would be like, this is Sky God. And they would start crouching. <laughs> and we would start dying laughing. I was like, wait, wait, wait. You're getting ahead of yourself. Three times. There's one more. Yeah, I don't remember, man. It was so fun, though. Vigil. You turn on that one guy. Oh, I know. <clears throat> I was telling one... Uh, so one of the things in that game is there is a meter for temperature right if your character gets cold it dies it gets too cold and so i had a 
ability is Sky God to warm them up. And so I told this one, I was like, next time you get cold, don't worry. Don't get resources, don't build a fire. I will heat you up. You'll be just fine. And so they got cold and I was like, all right, here comes the heat. And then they just built a fire. And I was like, what? <laughs> you don't you don't believe in Sky God? So I abandoned them and I went and helped someone else kill them. <laughs> I mean, I had like God vision, right? I could see where everyone was. And so I was doing things you weren't really supposed to do. So I was like going to other people and being like, hey, this guy that that for forsook, yeah, forsunk. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Not forsunk. I was like, this other person forsunk me. And started telling them where they are and stuff. It was a lot of fun. Put face in the sky, God. Senpai has noticed me. So I was like, man, it was surprisingly fun. Amazing. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I'm going to try slowing them down so that hopefully we can heal before they go. Oh, we can die here because of that double dodge. Luckily, they didn't hit him. Hmm. Bounty Knight is Final Fantasy XIV. Ooh, close one. Final Fantasy XIV Online. Kind of interested in trying it out. It's been recommended to me a lot of times. Hmm. I can heal. No Death's Door. Pretty close, though. So I need to attack at least once this round. I kind of don't want to kill it so we can get another heal in. Alright, good job, Frag. Ghoulish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Alright. Uh, we, we can afford to eat a little bit of food. Yeah, that, the Sky God part of that game was a lot of fun. We came up with a Sky God name, too. It wasn't like a... I almost talked to them like I was some sort of, like, pilot or something. This is your Sky God speaking. <laughs> Use a shovel in this for guaranteed loot. Hey, Ninda, welcome in. How you doing, Ninda? Good scout. Oh, secret room! Please have Junia's head in there. I'm actually going to go down this way so I can get those extra curios. Should be fine. Should be okay. It's Carl. Carl. Carl's here. Uh, so Eerie Coral, you can use medicinal herbs on it to get rid of one random negative quirk. It's Carl. Ashen and Fragile will both be great to get rid of. Duna Mania would be good to get rid of, and it's a reinforced, and it's a guarantee. Um, I think this one helps us the most right now, though. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Double win. Hopefully. To be the guy. Power Virtue. It's having death blows. I am the guy. Whoa, vigorous big time zombie. Kim with a powerful... Three afflictions. What's going on? Our screen. Paranoid. Uh, so the drown thrall can cause lots of uh, stress if we don't kill him fast enough. We also have the problem of the stinger being able to disease us. I think I'm still going to slow them down. This is the run. Hope so. I mean, this is the run. Can't kill here unless we crit. Hey, no voodoo. Oh, no, R squared's dead as well. Sorry, R squared, it's not your knight. <laughs> Grievous injury. That could be the run right there.
We survived a death blow. It's a Christmas miracle for real. He might explode. Oh, 18 crit heal. So good. Don't think you've ever sleep. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> so the holy abomination that is live action song. I haven't watched the trailer yet. My wife sent it to me. We're gonna watch it after the stream. This is the run. Survived one death blow. The thing we couldn't do on run four. Vigorous, focused, powerful. This is the run. We need to run into a Plage Guardian fight big time. Big time. Virtue, then you'll be impressed. Yeah, that's the true challenge there. Decimated. That's the real challenge. Probably believe this run has shifted. Someone say big time. <laughs> Did. Ugh. Early game, low accuracy, no accuracy. Trinkets. Sad times. At least you can't crit either of those to death's door. Anyways. Don't spoil it. I saw, like, the, uh... The thumbnail for it, and it was pretty scary in itself. Can we get one more heal before we kill this guy? Yes, we can. Get another stress heal, too. That would be great. Uh, doesn't look like it. These nightmarish creatures can be felled, they can be beaten. Hmm. So there's two room curios, so there's a decent chance that one of those is a uh, Eldritch Altar. Hmm. So I'm gonna keep the holy water, just in case, for now. Probably camp. Uh, we didn't get a hunger proc in that, right? No, we didn't, so let's camp now. So this is gonna make us immune to hunger in the next hallway. Goal we're gonna just buff here, so we're gonna do um, 10 dodge, 5% crit, whole team damage and crit, whole team, well I mean, companions. And we've already found the secret room, so I'm not gonna worry about the extra scouting, I'm just gonna prevent 19 ambush. In Radiance, may we find victory. I might should have, oh she doesn't even have Sanctuary, so it doesn't matter. Is there a bits? Hey Matt, how's it going? Oh man, last time was crazy. Hopefully, uh, Randall's liver did not fail him today. <laughs> I do bet. All right, on we go. Come on, Pelagic Guardian. This is not a Pelagic Guardian. None of these can do, uh, in inherent stress damage. They have to crit to give stress. So that's good at least. We'll try to kill and stun. Kill or stun, I guess. The uh, ones that can bleed us. Most important. We can also get our repost up. So. This guy's dead from bleed. These two are gonna get reposted probably twice in a row. Oh, <laughs> no second repost needed. A devastating blow. Uh, thanks, Frag. <laughs> All right, well we can go into stress healing with our Houndmaster. Holy crap, Frag! <laughs> okay. There's that. Um, that was a battle. Fragman going ham. Be wary. Triumphant I'm not precipitates being prideful, Wade. Just stating the facts. Got three crits in a row. 
hey, look, it's Plagic Guardian fight, so we should be able to recover on this as long as we uh, get to kill the Shaman. And then he never crit again. Yeah. What's the command to see where you are in the queue? Exclamation queue. The letter or the full word queue. Either one works. Oh, good crit. Beavis last words. You never know. Well, Holy crap. God. Man at Arms has such good cam buffs. It's crazy. What a crazy character. Welcome back. Your steadfast on, loyalty is greatly appreciated. Recover. I mean, it happened before. Swipe Penguin, nine months, another Twitch baby. We, we have so many Twitch babies now. Swive, thank you for the resub and the continued support. Love and sandwiches to Swive Penguin. Gold, we get to another giveaway. <laughs> thank you, Swive. Oh my gosh. Masterfully Frag? Executed. We're going to be down to like no stress by the end of this. Thank you, Swive. We're going to do another giveaway after this. Shall name them Frag. Going to be giving stuff away for days. It's all right. I'm going to sprinkle in some of those $5 games, too. <laughs> that I always feel... I know I shouldn't feel bad about ever giving anything away. But a lot of times when, like, the numbers will roll a, uh... Like a 3 or $5 game, I'm like... That doesn't feel like a worthwhile giveaway. Frag with another crit? <clears throat> How many? We did four giveaways last night. We've done one so far today. We'll do one after this. Let's get back from D and D. <laughs> How'd your a D and D go, Swife? Are you dungeon mastering? Or are you playing, so to say? The one today that we gave away was Absolver. Absolver. Ooh. I'm not trying to absolve real. Seems like something I might like. Reminds me of like uh I don't know, it kinda reminds me of For Honor in a way. I mean Hey, we got crit. Comes back. Bunch of that stress we just got rid of. I mean it doesn't have ninjas and samurai and uh, Vikings, but I mean, as far as like a the sort of fighting game it is, reminds me of it. If you're a player, it's a favorite game, just help out the DM. Play in four others, though. What's your favorite character you got going, Penguin? You're a tank. Frag, please. I kind of wanted to kill the guardian slowly. A trifling victory. How many more hunger procs do we get? Well, I mean, we have to go to the secret room. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. Come on, Junius head. This is our third secret room. There's no way there's not going to be a head in this. I'm dead. Dead. I almost opened it without a key. What is going on? Is this possible? I mean, obviously it is. What the crap? Is this a bug? I've never had this happen. Almost 1900 hours. Never had this happen. Three. We have no heads at all. And now we've had three different uh, secret rooms with not a single head in them. That's like unreal. Try verifying files. Yeah, I might have to. I mean, it could just be really bad luck, but I, it, I've never had it happen. It's crazy. Crazy. Drop any plates. You had all three. That's what I thought too, Kodo. Uh, or at least it was a high percent. Yeah. So that's what's so weird about this. 
trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. Really weird. And last, uh, last run, next room, all three heads. Uh, last uh, run that we had that stabilized, we our very first secret room had two heads in it, and the two I wanted also. So I guess this is like payback karma. You've been in runs where the heads don't drop. You mean you never get them from secret rooms or the collector, or just man, just bad luck, I guess. Headless problem too. Treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Hmm. Not ready to throw down our uh, medicinal herbs yet. Ninety percent disarm. I would rejoice. Yeah, I would. Sometimes they're hard to come by. I've never had problems getting them in all of these hours. Alrighty. Um, put damage in. So we, we surprise them. Good crit. Because it doesn't matter, but. Probably should have killed that with a repost, actually. Uh, or, I mean, with duels that'd be instant. I could have stunned one of these or used Bellow. Point where you just aim for that legendary bracer. I don't really like the Legendary Bracer. I don't really like Dismas's head either. Ju Junia's head, I use quite a bit. I use it a ton, actually. I already have half the combo. Junia's head plus Sacred Scroll. And then I also use Barristan head quite a bit on, uh... On the Jester. Gotta stun them. So I get all that big damage in. Hmm. Didn't want to lo uh, lose some of our repose damage. The debuff from the repose actually stacks, or from Duelist Advance, I guess you'd say. Both at 16, huh? Might be better to stun here. She can't out heal even with both of these, so. Probably the right call. Uh. <sighs> player only a couple years how you doing Sarah by the way uploaded bear envoy I have no idea what most of the stuff means still haven't played very very it's hard for you to do and another one Another crit repose. I mean, I'm not complaining about crits, but we don't get a chance to heal. As victories mount, so too will what a problem to have. We crit so much that we can't get enough healing in before the end of the battle. Another critical scout. That's good. Uh, actually, another right on that gold. We know we need at least one more shovel. We have three. Say so he says more intelligent than most. Dark Bracer! I'm so glad I used a shovel there. Thanks, Dark's Dungeon. A bear bard sci-fi stuff. Interesting. Dark Bracer. I've been longing for you, Dark Bracer. pages so you can get them out of the way um i remember talking to claire about that specifically I hate seeing them drop it's usually not worth it i mean especially if playing in a time limited thing like blood moon or stygian but hmm do i want to use that damage stone in the future eh. We have other stuff to do. Throw it down. Don't look back. Don't have to know. They do take up a loot roll, but from what I understand, 
Somebody else might. Yeah, that's what I asked Claire about. And I forget exactly how she phrased it. And uh, the loot roll that it takes place of. Uh, I don't remember exactly how she, what she said. But you, it's generally not really worth it unless you're playing a really long game. I suppose is the short answer to it. To take them over something else. Welcome <clears throat> back. Your steadfast Claire, I think, actually left forever. Appreciated. Claire kept saying that she was going to leave forever. I think she did. Darth Chaos. 17 months, man. Darth, thank you for the resub. Love and sandwiches of Darth. Darth is... One of those people that have also been here, like, literally forever. Darth, thank you for the continued support. Appreciate it. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. Understand how pants work in the Fishman zombie wizard worlds? Oh, man. Please guard someone. Or, yeah, that's good too. One of you two go first. Thank you. Hold of instant espresso. You love it. So lovely in the evening. Is patient. It will wait. Oh, it got healed. Mm, this could be bad. There's a really good chance it's gonna blow up this round, and it's gonna be it's gonna have one HP. It's gonna blow up with what HP you're beating. A singular strike. Bakum incoming. Gonna do it. Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. Sorry, fine. What are you doing? <laughs> fine. It's all good. It's, uh, it's to be expected, <laughs> which is real. It's crazy. Hey, uh, Katarzyna, welcome in. Serious dangerous, please. Just a perfect storm of crap right there. Perfect storm of crap. But we'll be all right. We're going to fully recover from this. No problem. End of this fight will be full health, you'll see. Tr trust me. I'm very confident in this. Super confident. <laughs> That's why I'm wincing at every act action. They're also masochistic. They can commit suicide. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can't guard them from their own masochistic suicidal tendency, though. We're still just fine. Uh, we're doing this to demonstrate how to come back from the edge. It's definitely intentional. This is fine. Raiders 2 would be a dead. It's the same percentage as in the game. In chat, if you time exclamation death blow, you have a 33% chance to die. If you die, time out for 60 seconds unless a mod decides you are worth resurrecting. I might stall here on purpose and hope it summons something not bad. <laughs> it's 100% for you tonight. Yeah, it does seem that way. Uh, change my mind. No, I didn't. If I stall one more round. Oh, the double crit heal. The limbs uh, obey. What a roller coaster. What a roller coaster. Oh, 
So until you live, you live. Can't believe I survived it. We didn't even get hit while on death's door either. Crazy. Crazy. Never worried. Run was definitely never in jeopardy. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow. No overconfidence, wait. Definitely need that shovel. There's two curios there. Huh. All right, we're good. Never worried. Do you have a masochistic uh, now, though? Unfortunately, stop being overconfident. <laughs> Come on, Seeker. Hopefully that's a Pelagic Guardian fight. It's interesting that I said, hopefully we run into a Pelagic Guardian. We did, and that was a fight that almost ended our lives. Hopefully this is a Pelagic Guardian fight again. Uh, we're actually immune to hunger for the rest of the dungeon, so we can eat this. Hey, Dylan, how's it going? Hey, it's Plagic Guardian. Double stress caster, though. It's done. Hmm. Let's bellow for next round. What number? We are on 20 still. Oh, neither of the stress casters got hit by it, which is what we needed to, to be debuffed. Uh, 40% and 20% debuff resist. Good crit, though. Down to one health. A little worried about this. And the ruins with Iron Maidens. <laughs> Man, I mean, we've had masochistic people literally kill themselves. So it's definitely a scary one to have. I actually need to stun that off. Or else we can't kill the... Oh, and it resisted. So we can't kill the stress caster this round. It's unfortunate. I remember when Bellow could deal damage. Crits. What a good glorious time it was for Doctor's Dungeon back in those days. Should not give the same amount of stress as a tree ranch smackdown. Yeah, I know, and it, it's it's one of those things that is very apparent, too. I mean, obviously, I guess they couldn't really do this. But, like, a really good example of that grunt work is if you get a crit heal on the um, on the occultist of, like, two, heals stress for your whole party. You get an 18 heal non-crit, no one, no one even blinks an eye. It's like, eh, so what? <laughs> uh, actually, we shouldn't suicide. What, weakish? I think we're on 15 or 16, somewhere around there. I do it, by the way, Craig. Super duper. Feather crystal from a hall battle, though, which is nice. Oh. Send it my way. I mean, I can't complain too much. We got a dark bracer from a a box or something earlier. I want to kill this kind of slow. You don't get credit for doing your job, Vestal. <laughs> the reaction. Uh, it's interesting as we found more and more ways to to kill our our characters. I don't know if I can actually uh, extend this out enough to get stressed down on anyone. I doubt it. With having someone masochistic, having only a level one Houndmaster, I don't think there's any way. 
Like, maybe we can get another stress heal or two in, but it's not going to mean too much. This might not even be the last battle. Now, we're immune to hunger proc in the next hallway, at least, so, like, we're not going to get screwed by that. But uh, we could absolutely have another hall battle, or maybe even two hall battles. It's possible. Plus a room battle. You never know. Alright, let's just kill him now. Enough of that clip. There he goes. Power through sacrifice. For offing himself. Makes you laugh every time. <laughs> success. Couldn't have wrote it better, probably. Oh, there's another battle! <laughs> there's another battle. Uh, Alright, you guys want to see how you spawn an eerie coral? Uh, so the way you spawn an Eerie Coral is you throw down the item that interacts with the Eerie Coral and that immediately spawns one. We know this to be true. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Look at that Eerie Coral. I mean, you can use the, the herbs on this for loot too. So it still, it still works. That's just dead, Carl. All right, last fight. Not a great dungeon. I mean, if we come out alive, though, I mean, it's fine. We got a secret room. We got a dark bracer. So, not all bad. Compassion is a rare We're in pretty great shape until that one fight, too. Okay, let's bellow. We don't want them to get two uh, attacks in a row. Treasure. Yeah, that's a, that's what I said. That's like the only saving grace. It is if we don't die. <laughs> if we die, that treasure means nothing. Might as well stress these out too. No head in the room, yeah. So these are all going to need stress healing regardless. So we might as well get them to 100 stress right before we leave uh, to see if they virtue. Because if they virtue, they're not going to need stress healing. Let's divide their damage up. We'll put this uh, grouper in position three, so now it will hit one of the back two instead of ganging up on the front. Ooh, one health remaining. Oh, he refuses the guard. Okay, we killed it, so it doesn't matter. He's fine. Can't die. Oh, I mean, he's masochistic, so he could die. Uh, I take that back. He could literally get hit to death's door here and then kill himself. Uh, don't do this. Don't do this, whoever you are. All right, they're stunned. We're good again. <laughs> what a roller coaster. Quickly the tide turns. Okay, here comes that first virtue for Yokas. Rational, one of the best virtues. Causes lots of stress for everyone. As you want to happen, right? Don't want to die. This is a guy I must like to die by himself. Yep. So is Risky as it is, I need to pass the turn on the Vestal so that she has a chance to hit a Virtue. Lele Highlander actually good. Felt like point blank shot was always too OP. He runs. Melee Highlander. Oh, High Woman. Uh, I use point blank shot as well. You, you use them in conjunction. So depending on what you're fighting. So... I prefer this loadout in general, and then I switch Wicked Slice out for the bleed if need be, uh, or the D stealth. But Repost is like overpowered. Repost is just overpowered in this game. So you jump into position one, get your Repost on, and then you use point blank shot to knock yourself back into position two, so you can use uh, get your Repost set back up again. Hi, yeah, no worries. I got you. Uh, at first, that was like because there's so many modded classes that I thought. 
There was a slight chance that you were talking about a modded class. You could just stroll into the stress. Yeah, but we don't have food and we could get a hunger proc. Go back for class. Quid 05. Live and let live. Eat and let eat. Yes. Words to live by. Alright. Let's get this virtue. It's a good one. Those who covered one of the best, really. Alright, let's get out. Let's get out of here. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? We did it! I'm actually surprised we made it out. I thought that was the end of it. Life can flourish, if we need much bigger glutes. Oh, he smelled that booty. <laughs> glutes to booty. Thanks, Phoenix. I don't know if we're going to do an actual split game tonight or not. Hey, everybody, my name is Cletus. Anybody want some cornbread? Hey, Chikorita. How you been, by the way, Chikorita? It's good to see you. Look at that. We're going to sell trinkets too, so we got over 30,000 gold. Known cheat doesn't really matter. Hagiomania kind of sucks. Eldritch Hater is a great pickup on Yokas. That's a, like lock in material. Manic for money kind of sucks. Ruins Adventure is fine. Yeah, overall, I mean, it was a pretty profitable run. A fresh irritant to some. Hyman was doing everything in his power to not be overstressed. I know. He had so many crits. Coming sometimes like sharks lurking in and out. The lurks helped you. Thank you, Chikorita. Hopefully you've been well. Uh, we need to do a giveaway, huh? Let me set up a giveaway while we get ready for the next dungeon. Uh, we're giving away a Steam key. As long as you're a follower, you can enter in to win. Man, no Hell's Hairpin still either. So if you haven't already, think about following the channel. So that you can enter in oh, on the giveaway. Grows. Spooter Mama. <laughs> Spooter Mama, thank you for the follow. Hey, Miller Time. How's it going, Miller Time? Guys, calm down. We got this. All right. Our community Master grows. Pib. Master Pib, thank you for the follow also. 319. What could that number mean? So every 10 subscribers, we give away a, uh, a Steam key. We have things all the way from $5 games to $60 games. Uh, 319 is the number we're giving away, I suppose. All right. I don't know what this game is, but it's a $20 Steam key. It was donated to the stream by Gammy Dragon. Gammy Dragon, I don't know if you're there, but thank you for the game donation. Uh, it is called... Next... I, Bushida? Machina? I don't remember how to pronounce it because I've only ever read it. We, we talked about this the other night and I uh, and then I completely forgot. Anyway, there's the game. It's a $20 game. <laughs> Click that link, see if it's something you might like to win. Hey, Yankee, welcome in. How you doing, Yankee? Just in time for a giveaway. Uh, we'll let the giveaway go for two minutes. Okay, giveaway's opened. Enter the giveaway, type Adam versus RNG. If you're a subscriber, you can use the RNG emote. It makes it easier to enter, but it doesn't give you an extra chance to win. Uh, but Adam vs RNG, as long as you're a follower, you can get in on this. Uh, you got two minutes, two minutes to enter while I get the team ready for the next dungeon. Hey, Electronica. Unsight, welcome back. Hey, doing Unsight. Taco Making, welcome back in. Biking, good to see you. All right. So, we're not going to use this, probably. We'll see, though. Who we got in the stagecoach? Necromania, huh? Cove Explorer is good, though. Hard skinned, very nice. I'd like to take these two. So, yeah, if you're not a uh, subscriber, you can just type what um, uh, Woe just typed. Woe Napoli, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. But if you type Adam versus RNG, even if you're not a subscriber, you get entered for the giveaway to win this game. We're going to be giving away games all night. I have a, a debt to pay. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade the guilds. 
Every creature has a weakness. The wise hero trains for what he will face. I might go ahead and extend the stagecoach one more time. I know I'm going to at some point anyway, so... Yeah, we'll do that. And let's move the queue. The queue moves. Uh, we got Garth. Garthfield. Tortured and reclusive. And Ginger Tunes. Ginger ends up being a Houndmaster quite a bit, I think. A lawman and his faithful beast. Spicy Bean Bro. How's it going, Spicy Bean? Welcome back. So again, uh, you got... Uh, how much time? Oh, time's up. You have no more time. Grows. Something like the speedrunning scene? Not that I know of, actually, Sith. I wish there was something like that. Tenderness one-on-one. -on -one. Tenderness, thank you for the follow. The winner. Of uh, the twenty dollars Steam key is Taco Macon. Taco, you've won. Well, Taco, if you can pass a captcha test, it's Taco. What if you've been a bot this whole time? Like maybe you don't even know. So Taco, in order to win your game, I need you to tell me what kind of demonic abomination this is I'll accept any any word in any language that a bot wouldn't use so as long as you don't say ye or wow or woo or I never win or whatever the other program bot things that we found out were rigged a bunny that'll do taco congrats um so how it's gonna work taco is I will whisper you on twitch uh, the Steam key before my next stream, so sometime between the end of the stream and the beginning of tomorrow night's stream. I'll whisper you the key, just reply so that I know you've gotten it and I can mark it off my list. Alright, let's get in there. We're, we're going to do more giveaways too. Congrats, Taco. It's weenie. Stealth bunny. It's a made of chocolate. No, it's a stuffed animal, but because of the color, uh, it chroma keys out a little bit because of the green screen. Okay. Alrighty. You return with coffee. Welcome back, Phoenix. The the kind you were talking about earlier. Uh, we need to get the ruins and the wield up. This will actually unlock the next boss, and it also gives an additional scouting trinket. So I'll probably just go ahead and hit it, even though it's a, a short... Seems alright. Take Garthfield in. I don't know though. Necromedia. Let's think about this. Um, it should be okay to take him. See the coffee. Wedding cake flavored. Ruins tactician. Okay. Cause use the extra energy to be productive mod. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Anyone can drink it, aside from me. Wedding clay cake is vanilla and almond. Just like this corpse is totally normal. <laughs> uh alright. Irish red cap, Lunas Beast Slayer, Sickly. So it doesn't matter too much in here. We can take Irish. We don't have a great front line at the moment in general. I mean, I could take Hoopa. Uh, they're fine to take here. The Ruins doesn't have a ton of bleedable enemies. I mean, the two of the main stress casters are bleedable. The Bandits, Maggots, Spiders. Um, but none of the Skeletal Mobs. So it's not ideal to take them. They also can't help us stall too much. Most important town building we have blueprints to build. So I build the bank on week 10. Week 10 is the earliest you can get a building. I usually build the bank. Um, the cartographer's camp is one of the best though for anyone. Cartographer's camp, regardless of your torchlight, gives you additional scouting, gives your entire party 2% crit, 
and also uh, gives you an extra chance at a loot roll on everything. So Cartographer's Camp is really good, and uh, so is the bank. Hmm. Really don't have, I mean, I'd like to have another Crusader, but we just haven't had one come through. Uh, I can take 17, which is fine. Natural Swing's good. Clumsy kind of sucks. It's probably better to take them in, or Fluffkins even. Ruin Scrounger. Probably fine to take Fluffkins in, especially over Hoopa. Yeah, but those are my two favorites in general. Uh, Sith Duke. Use the Leper I don't have? No. I wouldn't be using it even if I had it. The Lepers. Alright, let's get in there. Lepers. Okay, uh, it's a short dungeon, so there's no camping in here. Any stress we need to get off? Yes, there is, of course. Paint sick people. <laughs> Four man squad of lepers. The rot squad, as the game calls it. Camp and bank, are they something that's part of the color of madness or another DLC? Because the mechanics that come from those other buildings seem to be asked from the vanilla game. Uh, it comes, so there's two different sets of, of districts. So the mill, the study hall, the well, the orchard, those ones are all color madness. Now, the Red Hook Monument and everything over from there, the bank, card harvest camp, etc., those are part of the DLC you get when you buy the Crimson Court. The Crimson Court's actually three DLCs in a bundle. You can't buy them separately, but there's, you can enable them separately in your game or in your save files. Uh, it has the Flagellant, has the Crimson Court itself, and then it has the districts. So the original districts, the Red Hook all the way down the line here, is from or part of the Crimson Court DLC. Okay, any disease you want to get rid of this week? Get rid of Wasting Sickness, finally. I know, that's one of the reasons why the Leper's not good. Uh, might want to get rid of the Obsessive Killing before it gets locked in. Uh, I'm not going to use them next week, though, is the thing. Hagiomenia. I'm not going to use them next week either, though. Who am I likely to use next week? Gurg, maybe. 17 is pretty likely to be used next week. Hoopa. Hero Media. The Yips. Flash. We'll get rid of Hero Media. Create Dungeon in the class the District Mechanic was completely foreign to you. Yeah, so if you have that enabled, at week 10 it gives you one free blueprint and it unlocks the districts. The next blueprints uh, you're able to get are from veteran bosses, veteran and champion bosses. Yeah, but the thing is, Spooter, like, why not just put a Hellion in that position? That's that's the main problem. Like, if you're mid-max, like, you can use the Leper. You can use it on every single one of your teams for the entire playthrough, and you will be you can beat the game. It's fine. All the characters in Darkest Dungeon are good enough to use throughout the whole game. But when you're doing, like, mid-max sort of thing, it's like, why use the Leper over the Hellion is one of the big things. And so, I mean, in that same setup, if you use the Hellion there... She's going to destroy everything as well and has better reach. So she can hit those stress casters on turn one rather than only being able to hit position one and two. Double uh, healing trinkets here. Scouting. Our Hellion. We're going to use Dark Bracer. Probably just give her uh, more damage too. Abomination is going to start out with 25 stress because he's level 0. He's the only level 0 here, so I'm going to go ahead and give him Book of Sanity. Stun Trinket. Get bonus loot. Blew your mind? Don't think it tells you that anywhere. Not sure if 
Uh, should you or not? Yeah, and the other thing it does, it, it doesn't really... Well, here's the thing, though. Uh, a lot of people don't know, but if you go to... Uh, is it the glossary? I don't think that's in here. But the glossary is actually pretty decent. So, for instance, a lot of people are always surprised when I tell them how speed works. But if you go in the glossary, like it tells you right here that it rolls a D8 behind the scenes for speed. So if you haven't already, looking through the glossary is a pretty good thing. Um, you'd be surprised how many things in there you might not have found out just by playing the game. But the other thing about the Antiquarian is for every Antiquarian in your party, uh, you can stack gold 750 more per per inventory slot. And it, it stacks. The amount of antiques you get also increases uh, battle antiques the more antiquarians uh, you have on your party too um we actually still use some of these so I don't think I'm gonna sell them all right I think we're good all the food two shovels it's a short right yeah two other water two missile herb two keys that should be fine Food shovels, hero interaction, uh, upgrades, trinkets, skills, upgrades, trinkets, skills. How can he blow two whistles at the same time? Four man antiquarian. It's great for farming. Yeah. It's a lot of money. It's very slow to kill anything. Trust me. We did quad antiquarian for a long time. <laughs> what did each nostril? <laughs> Let's see, one, two, three backtracks, one, two, three. Either way, three, so. Actually, wait. One. Okay. One backtrack. This won't be a backtrack. Two. One, two, three. So we can do less backtracking by going up first. Pretty fast, the four of them. Doubt you can spare the room in the roster. It's true too. I used to um, when I was when I was first playing through Darkest. I used to get antiquarians, and I would level them all the way up to champion level, and then I just dismiss them and get new antiquarians. Hey Kermit, welcome in. How you doing, Kermit? Critical Scout. Uh, it's a short dungeon, so there's no there's no secret rooms in short dungeons. Maggots. Maggots don't drop loot in normal light conditions. Because, <laughs> because we're in zero light, they'll get an extra chance, a 70 or 75-ish percent chance to have a loot roll. Um, they do cause stress and disease, as we just saw. Wasting sickness means that our... Our abomination now has no disease resist. Fine, thanks for the sub. Don't thank me, uh, Randall. Did all the gifts, well, a lot of gift subs last night. Oh, all of them. Other people pitched in too, but, uh, yeah. Joy Kermit. Means of, that you will not get ads on this channel anymore, and you can use all the emotes anywhere you want for a month, of course. Executed with impunity. I'm gonna stress you a little bit here. Uh, we couldn't stun him anyway. Stun it. Them. Mm. <sighs> hey, we got the extra loot roll. Seize this momentum. Push on to the Yeah, maggots are annoying because, like I said, in normal light conditions, they just don't let drop loot. So it's like, all risk, no reward. We surprise them, which is really good. We'll try to kill the stress caster first. Uh, the bone arbalist sometimes feels like a stress caster, though. He can crit a lot. Let's go ahead and stun him if we can. The Good stuff. So down to two. Um, the Bone Arbalist might go before us next round. And he crit. Reeling. About to break. And we crit. Hmm. I'm going to actually get a stress heal in. Kind of risky. I'm just kind of banking that we're going to be able to stun him here. 
Maybe I should heal. I think it's actually okay to heal. He's in position two. Yeah, we're fine. The Darkest Dungeon devs have reached out to you. Don't know anyone who's put more time into this game. Um, not really. I mean, I've talked to them a couple of times on Discord, but I was generally the one that initiated things. Um, so, I mean, I like the developers and what I've talked to them, or when I've talked to them on Discord and stuff, it's all been positive stuff. Still kind of kind of sad that it didn't include me in the uh, Color of Madness endless contest. But uh, no hard feelings towards them. But no, not really. They did give me a... Uh, they did give me Color of Madness for free. Um, I didn't ask them for it, so that was their idea. Which is pretty awesome. Um, that's pretty much it. Okay, so... Holy Water on this to reduce stress on our Abomination. They don't love me like you guys love me. I think part of it too is time frame, right? So like, I don't, I don't know if any of the developers ever like watch the stream. Maybe, but uh, I don't know. Maybe I stream too late to be noticed by the developers. <laughs> Thank you, Strike Commander. <laughs> no, no hard feelings towards them. I mean, there's a lot of people that play Darkest Dungeon for even bigger viewership than we have. Um, but I'm pretty sure I've streamed it for longer, most likely. <laughs> I'd be surprised. <clears throat> Wayne loves you. That's all you need. That's right. My wife, my daughter, and Wayne. <laughs> That's all. That's it. All right, let's kill the stress caster. He even likes Cletus. Let's <clears throat> curse. Oh yeah, no worries. Thank you, Strike. Adam Class Darks in too. Hugs all the monsters. So. I'm gonna stun this one, so hopefully it doesn't stun us. Gotta say thanks to Randall. Man, if Randall's liver didn't give out on him. <laughs> Randall got a new job. And he's like, I'm celebrating by supporting your channel and drinking a lot of very expensive um, tequila. Thanks, Randall. Crazy. Destroyed. Or the missus didn't murder him. Yeah, that's true too. Confluence of <laughs> he said that too. He's like, "Don't tell my wife I'm doing this hundred dollar donation." Man, last night was crazy. Uh, we'll try to stun this one again. Just preventing as much incoming damage as we can and trying to heal up. Mainly get our stress back down. Okay, so we did one hit. We'll do the second hit with our Hellion. Uh... Okay, so we've done two hits, so they won't call in reinforcements, so we can stress heal both of these ones this round. And crit? As long as he doesn't crit, we're in good shape. Might install one more round, actually. Yeah, we should be able to. So we got that stun in. Um, stress heal. It's good. We'll just hit the corpse with her, which actually counts as a stall, but we'll get our second hit in with our... Abomination. So as long, if you have a size one, uh, one or two size one mobs left and no other enemies, you have to hit it at least twice or else it'll count as a stall. And they can stress you and call in reinforcements. Um, but if you know how that mechanic works and you take advantage of it, you can get extra healing and stuff in with little to no risk. No Alright, good fight. Iron Maiden, uh, medicinal herbs for guaranteed loot. So I know a couple of you play it or have played it. How many of you guys, 
have played and actually like enjoyed the Final Fantasy XIV online game. Because I keep seeing more and more stuff about it. And I don't know if it's partially because a lot of people have been leaving WoW over the last year or so. And maybe they're looking for other MMOs. Um, but that's the bounty tonight. And uh, kind of interested in trying it out. I've been told it's... The beginning of the MMO is very story heavy, almost single player -y type stuff. I'm gonna see how how true that is. <clears throat> so for anyone that doesn't know, a bounty is a sponsored segment of the stream where we get paid out based on how many people are viewing during that time. We have one of those later tonight, so when you're done with the stream tonight, if you Hey, it's the Shambler Altar. If you leave the stream running in some capacity, it will financially support the stream. Very much appreciate it. First go around, but also rating hardcore and wow at the time. Didn't have time for both. So, from what I understand too, you make one character, and that character, you can be all classes or jobs with, right? Like, you level up the B. You level up the jobs separately from your character. Like, you could you can be a warrior and also a black mage, for instance, and one of those might be level 31, the other be like 45 or Omni 2. All jobs, classes, professions, etc. Uh, so to make sure I wasn't taking up a crap load of time on the stream today making a character, my wife and I, uh, before the stream, went through and created an Adam versus character. I think you guys are going to be pretty excited for it. <laughs> it was it was the only race and face combination in the game that had just the goatee. I don't know if that's too much of a hint for those of you that actually know the game. But uh, you'll see. You'll see soon. Some jobs require you to have certain jobs at certain levels. <clears throat> but even after you select those ones, you can still go get more, right? Like, for instance, if you have to get to level 30 to become a paladin or something, you will always have that paladin job. And then you can get, on that same character, you can get whatever else to 30 and become a monk or something, right? And you, you switch between them. At, like, how do you switch between them? Is it just like... Like a dual spec kind of situation? Like, you go to a tab and you just switch what you are, or get more involved. Limited anything, you eventually can unlock everything. You change the main weapon. Can you change main weapon in combat? Not in combat, okay. I was about to say, that would be like a crazy level of complexity if you could do that. Like, min-maxing would be ridiculous, because you would have to weave specs as you were playing. You have a gear set you can save per job. Hmm. Gruntwork got sucked into it, I know. I remember when this happened. DRG, what is that? Uh, let's, let's just stun this one. Dragoon. So I think I'm gonna start out with the uh, the one that becomes a paladin. I don't know why. Four afflictions. Irrational. Man, you're supposed to have a 25% chance. That means it happens every time at least one in four, right? Dragoon was the most fun. Hmm. Oh, bad dodge. I was kind of counting on that kill there. That's the longest combo chain. Alright, love the Howmaster skin with different types of doggos, German Shepherds, also Pugs and Corgis. Yeah, I mean, I know there's mods. We've used the Corgi one, for instance. I, don't, I know there's separate mods for that, but it would be kind of nice if there was one skin mod that had different dog types, not just reskin corgis. Five hot behemoth. What are the dungeons? Now the monster hunter world behemoth fight 
Makes more sense. Hey, Mail. You didn't get me that time. How do you Mail so? Normally, my own Dragoon felt different how complex the combos were. The Corgi mod. Oh, I was so... It would be fine if it wasn't hopping all the time. That was the problem with it. It was just constantly bouncing around. I'm going to stall one round. <laughs> what are you here for if your memes don't work? I don't know. But stay. Stay a while and listen. I just could not get her stressed down here in that. Yeah, well. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Hey, cat. Doing okay. Still not 100%, but. Uh, the Darkest Dungeon Run? I mean, we've had some really scary times tonight, but we haven't had any deaths, so. <clears throat> How you doing, cat? <sighs> oh, good dodge. It's always a good time to dodge, but sometimes. A little bit better than others. Obliterated. All games. I think it is. Team that heals, allies, helps group survive. It is not good enough at tanking, not good enough at healing. Not one in a group, except maybe as a buff or a bot. Just depends. Just depends. It's true a lot of times, though. <clears throat> Very nice crit. Doing good. Job to you where you get retain hammer ability. Spam that ability. Unless you were doing PvP, in which case you can make a charger, charge and smite. All pretty fun though, so it doesn't matter which class you do first. Blow to body and brain. Yeah, I was either going to go the when I was trying to decide between, I want to do melee. So I was trying to decide between paladin, because I like shields a lot, or uh... Um, warrior. It's like two-handers as well. It's like melee. Monk looked okay. I don't have any of the expansions or anything like that, though. A little bit stressy, Leon. Such a terrible I don't know why, but I felt that. Left on felt it in my bones. Knew he was going to crit us somehow. It's the year 2035. All humans have lost their nipples. <laughs> kind of forgot about that. Summoners for the win. Oh, I saw that uh, my wife sent it to me that Elder Scrolls Online is getting a Necromancer class. A summoner, which is kind of interesting. Would you enjoy battles of how all teammates when you just heal them? Decimated. Not a great fight. That's the last fight of the dungeon, too. This expedition at least promises success. Hmm. Um, I mean, there's still a chance we run into a curio that needs one of these three. I don't know. I might actually summon some more fights in this. We have four provision slots left. Um, yeah, I'll probably do that. Let him try to. The fight isn't too hard anyway. <laughs> All of it on, depends on patches and video games, obviously. I don't know. In WoW, it seemed to go... They seemed to, like crap on paladins for a long time and then they would come out with a patch or an expansion and paladins would be like stupidly overpowered and then they would nerf them into the ground again and the cycle would repeat it has to be an mmo have competitive multiplayer not know that not all of us have friends i know i mean it seems like some some players are getting away from that a little bit but it still seems like a little bit of a problem lock of fury 10% damage, plus 3 speed, minus 10% max HP. Good pickup. It was a vanilla WoW, yeah. And then people wanted to be melee. Hey, I can melee. 
No, you can heal. <laughs> Hall of Fame match the gathering player who just got disqualified from a tournament for using marked sleeves. No, I didn't. Is there any way to like how do you do Lunar? Is there any I'm gonna try to summon another battle. I'm gonna go down here to this more open hallway. Um Hmm. Did they admit that they had cheated before too or anything or Did they uh Is there like footage to check and see if they had cheated in the past? Julie Palin just dedicated to those sweet, sweet five minute buffs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> five minute buffs instead of the hour. Hey, there's a battle. So we can spot another one. You can duration, 40 man raids, target only. Say more. It's kind of interesting now, though, because when you say early WoW, I mean, look how long ago, like, Burning Crusade was. Or even, like, early Lich King now. I guess like early Lich King, if you if you put it into eras, feels like that first part of WoW too. It's crazy. No, I remember the five minute buffs. Still traumatized today. <laughs> All right, let's just do this battle. See how it goes. Then we'll see. If we want to spot another one. Double stress, stress caster, stress. Here comes the pain. We're saying the marks are unintentional. Festering Show the marks. Consumes the mind. So the player that got caught is saying they're unintentional, but it's pretty obvious. So, so in, in, hmm. So what advantages, I mean, I understand the point of marking them in general, but like what advantages specific in magic did they get because of that? So were they able, is there a time when you like choose a card at random from your deck or things like that so they could see the mark and they would know which one to choose? Terra. I haven't been able to get back into it. Never played Terra. I don't know if we're going to be able to get her stressed down at all, really. I guess our Houndmaster can stress heal the rest of this, but I highly doubt we're going to get her uh, stress healed enough to not need to stress heal her in town. No, you're going to top deck. So you know when to use draw a card. Ah, that makes sense. That makes sense. You should mulligan because you can see the next card. Part of it is knowing if you should search your library for something. Knowing you'll be drawing it next turn. Gotcha. That makes sense. It's good in small doses for you. I remember hearing about it. What was that other one that was... There were so many MO MOs that were coming out uh, in the years after WoW. Especially after, like, Lich King. And it was always like, this one's the WoW killer. This one's so much better. It's gonna kill WoW. And uh, Rift, right? Wasn't it Rift? Isn't it the name of the one? Rift was like the big one that everyone was like, no, no, this is... WoW's doomed. This one. So you had three specific lands that were great, but only if you had all three of them. Black Desert Rift, Guild Wars 2, yeah. Even Warhammer, right? Warhammer had the MMO. Uh, people were saying the same thing about it. Might have to guard her, actually. Because she could, she could die, huh? Sagline, you're not Nazaroth anymore. Wonder who, <laughs> I wonder who was behind that one. Wildstar. Yeah, Wildstar got shut down, huh? Like, within the last year. <clears throat> Lost Ark to come to North America. I don't know that one. Tap for one colorless each. Had all three. They tap for two, two, and three. Hmm. So the person's most likely guilty. 
Um, do they have a history of playing decks where it's super important that they... I mean, it's always important to draw on Mulligan correctly and stuff like that, but obviously some decks rely on it more than others, like you were talking about with that. An ARPG MMO. Another battle. They play all sorts. Well, sorry, I was from some of the hardcore devs that left WoW. This team again? Well, more chance it loots. So it hasn't gone yet, so maybe we'll crit kill it. World top end at least, no crit kill though. Are we playing anything on the second half of the stream tonight? We were doing with Sekiro. Uh, yeah, we're, we're doing the, the bounty. And I might end up just using the bounty for the rest of the stream tonight to try it out. Because I don't know if just an hour is going to. No, not rude at all, Matt. I know that some people, uh, some people are tired of watching Darkest Dungeon. But uh, I haven't decided on a permanent split game yet. If that's, if that's the question. Miss Wildstar and your Esper. What did you had? Would it close? Think it's done way better on launch. What is it? It's Final Fantasy XIV. Tron's pretty important to get for decks that revolve around it. What does that one do, Ivex? Dyers of Ash. Ugh. I don't know why. I want you to play that game. <laughs> I'll see what other people think, yeah. Like I said, I wouldn't mind doing it, but... Oh, Tron is the deck you were talking about. Okay. I didn't know the deck itself had a name. Bad miss. Here comes our virtue to save the day, though. Many fall in the face of chaos, but not this one. Not today. So the Rasa right as it was shutting down. Seemed like a great game. Didn't get the chance to get very deep into it. I haven't heard of that one. I mean, I know the item from Path of Exile, but... Not heard of the game by the name, actually, Feral Fox. Wait, after WoW, so just trying to be its own thing. Yeah, I didn't remember that. I mean, it sounds familiar now that you mentioned it, but I didn't, I didn't remember. Good crit. Urza Tron caused the... Three lands are Urza's Mine, Urza's Power Plant, Urza's Tower. A sci-fi MMO. Man, that virtue makes it so we can actually probably do some more battles. It's not a good crowd for Dark Souls, man. I don't know. Uh, a lot of people didn't enjoy Sekiro. So, I know Dark Souls is different, obviously, but it's still that same kind of vein. I don't know. We have a really diverse group of people. So it's hard. Which is a bit bad. A lot of those games are still going, too. Obviously. Mechanics that made it super fun. Lag. Positioning. Partial cover. Stand crouch. Prone bonuses. Penalties. Success. So clear. Do we need another battle? Or is it merely a trick of the light? I think I'm just going to take the 625 gold and go. Uh, yeah. We got that virtue, which saved a lot of stress. She doesn't need stress yield anymore. I think I'm just going to take that. Uh, eat crest. Do I value that over one portrait at the moment? I don't I don't think so, actually. Wait, how many crests trade in for one portrait? Or two portraits? It is eight, isn't it? Or is it nine? There's one called Vambrace Cold Soul. It's supposed to be similar to Dark Souls. I hadn't heard of that one. Because of voting spoilers. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I understand that one, too, Matt. We're not in Azeroth anymore. Still, we least he would move, yeah. I don't know why I can't remember the exact trade-in. It's alright. It's alright. Somewhere around that. It's pretty even. The shifted corridors and sloped walls Ten other teams stand in a spot. Go grab coffee. Which obviously will just stand there and do nothing. <laughs> Six to one. Thank you. Deathfire. So that was the right decision then. Survival guy. The urges. Just wait until I start playing it. Manslayer is a great pickup. Extra crit against humans. Uh, Kophobe. It's all right. Doesn't matter too much. I mean, it's, it's a negative, obviously. But 
Guess we should do the bounty, huh? So guys, please don't head out if you would. Just wait a moment. Because uh, we're going to do a bounty, I believe. And I'm going to do a giveaway at the end of the bounty. Maybe maybe two giveaways. I think we'll do two. Stargate MMO. That was a development. And got cancelled. I don't think that I remember it. I think I remember you mentioning it before. If I remember right. Thank you, Phoenix. Valve is launching a VR system. Uh, I'm going to sell this, actually, before I forget. Did it mention it? Oh, hmm. Well, apparently I've heard it in mentioned somewhere. Into 14. Caught it felt just a little too slow. Global cooldown for like a quarter of a second too long. Stargate Lost Worlds. 